right here. MTA gets seen. Yeah, what's up? How we doing? Yo, 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 yo. Kaznit is on the prowl. And because Killjoy utility on this map is almost always set up in mid, he's got an opening and he's able to creep up all the way back into Snowman past Net, get back here, and hears those footsteps of Net, calls his teammates back oh, wow. to the yeah. because he's got the kill. That's outrageous. He's going to keep on looking there because he never slows down. Once he gets his one, he's going to keep looking and try to win out the round. So, very nice. Why am I starting so late? One. We're going to move over Just, to uh, Ascent, where he does more of these types of A lot of, of yapping. Ideas. And right. this one out honestly, right now, we've got we do Kevin so much that I feel like the 15 minutes i mean i miss all the pacific pre-show you know, like it can turn into some kind of a split i rarely catch all of the pre-show these days they don't commit the spike so spike is still back here over towards a and really all they're doing is getting kesnet posted up here in mid kesnet gonna hang out here as a one-way smoke goes into market door and now crew sort of leave kesnet to his own devices he hangs out here and from this position crew can do one of two things one is if prediction i'm going kill, for furia but this is him. right now the spike this is relatively is open a, just because it's there are options to bring it back to g Teams that made changes. The other one is, if Kesnet hears footsteps rotating off of this site, he's uh, going to be able to call I went with Fury. I feel like the exactly Fury change right, detour leading off uh, of the is in theory. Fury is a what they do know bigger is upgrade. Three, four, but five footsteps just went tr uh, thundering off know, the I see what Rose Heat's going to be on. There and he's bringing his teammates over. So it's not even always that Kesnet is finding kills on the game so much of his calling round to round is off of his position on the on the map and what the info he knows and he can share with his teams so they can make the correct decision and just break the ankles of their opposition elizabeth hello how you doing crew so unique things. is all the attention they give kesnet in the calling so come on back with me and we can keep talking about the matchup oh yeah no. look at that hey hey we really gotta get the ham horn we gotta get the ham horn that's our that's our next sound <laughs> effect i'm gonna work really hard you know that, that that's really interesting because i think is it a horn one. made of ham We'll talk later. What are you going to say, Paula? I want to know like, more. I don't know. Anyways. What is it? The, ha the ham horn. I'll just go. I'll, I'll find it. I do my what whole thing over there, and all you've got is ham horn? Uh, okay. What? Uh, all right, all right. Yeah, you, there we go. We're heavy. You see? Look at that. Do you uh, see? Uh, uh, all right. Move the, on with the, your point, The Bob. interesting part about that is, to me, that was, like, things like oh, that. Oh, nice, right? dude. Being Congrats. Able insert, being able to default Pretty very cool. well, be able to yeah. call mid-rounds fantastically is what made Who them ends their losing streak DFM or yay? Now they're swapping IGLs. I'm really wondering if they're going to lose a little bit of that. That's I such a savage question. No, I don't think um, they do because I, I, I guess think that when you're yay, a player in that position, you're the one that has to call all those rotates, right? You have to call entirely them. confident the, with it. Jail is setting him up for that. Sure. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. I'm well, let's go ahead though and look at the other side of the field and talk about their opponents. We got Furia, who's also going to be looking to find themselves that big first win, and they're going to be leaning on this guy right here, MW Zera, as they usually do. He has been very much, you know, we talk about the tip of the spear being Kesnet. MW has always been that for this Furia lineup. Coming into this year, I wanted I wanted more from Fury. I wanted more than the MW Zara show. I wanted the rest of the team to step up to see some more unique ideas like we were getting at the beginning of their season last year. But honestly, their kickoff was more of the same. It was MW Zara being a great player, right? He's always going to have these ridiculous rounds that he takes over on his own. But the rest of the team, down, for my money, wasn't really stepping That's up in the way that I was hoping. We're still seeing a lot of these rounds where they, they seem a little bit lost in mid round, where they're wasting Sky Util. And and they're having what are we saying, um, yep. on these good, individual bad. plays to win. And honestly, I think I and probably this team too were expecting a lot more from themselves Absolutely. in that kickoff uh, run. I think for me, this is MW's nice, team. Bro. And you could see it in the server. Right? Definitely because take every that. Every piece of resource is going towards setting him up. And that is the problem, right? You yeah. lose everything else, right? Whatever he has the idea, whenever he's I making a I think a, a team will win example, tonight. I mean, that is... I mean, you literally see everybody else that trying is to keep likely. up with and yeah. you can't yeah, I really do think Fury uh, you need to have everybody else with their should be own favorites, I guess. Their own ability to do sort of plays around the map. And without that, it's it's not a team. It's, yeah. a, it's just MW. Yeah, it, it, that, that has always been the, the thing that has held it's them. The thing that change up is massive enough, for them. Which is the thing that they have been this team is underperforming. Them up, right? Which I think is quite ironic in that situation. But then you look forward, though, to, you know, the, the losses that they have taken since then. And it feels like, you know, Ender, this Furia team, they're they're still fishing for that win. And they're fishing for that efficiency. Not that entirely sure on memory. I have one. them written down somewhere. They desperately need. 100%. I think genuinely for both of these teams, they need oh, to yeah, find identity been. outside of just their duelist players, especially on the attacking side. Because I feel like when Fury are winning a lot of rounds, it's off of letting yeah, they changed up. single um, or double duelist comps. They're
They're sort of letting those players work the map on opposite sides and find out what they can consider. The big upgrade. Uh, it, it feels a little bit less structured. To me, it's very more freestyle rounds, which can be effective, but not when you're trying to reach the highest levels of play. Yeah. I think for me, the thing that gives me some more faith about Furia yeah. is this new kind of changeup with Nosworthy coming into the roster he's been a guy who's Big always one. been one of my favorite players back in yeah. the south american scene i think it's all kicking off yeah. Tan, last year and even into the early stages of this one he's a guy who has a lot of ideas in the mid round is a big voice for the team but is also a super consistently high level player i think he can be that guy yep. who's not only doing more to set up mw's era but can be the second and be that second level that fury has been looking for for so long absolutely and i think part of the reason why he's not on the Tan right now is because he might have been a little too vocal in some instances and i think that's gonna help fantastically here yeah Algeria. yeah well but, you know what let's go ahead and hear from Nasr one team's gonna play less no one group Shabbat. plays less right wait Nasr, right over no here. it's all it's all the same now i gotta ask you what are team expectations now that you join the team quais expectativas que você tem agora que você quais expectativas expectativa do time agora que você se juntou a expectativa é a gente montar uma nova estrutura para o time, né? A gente, obviamente, classificar para o playoff, mas pensar em cada jogo, né? Cada semana a gente tem um plano de jogo para cada group adversário. Group Alpha plays last, right? The one with five. Pelo menos na primeira no, etapa a gente... Opposite é way around. Yeah, the, the expectations is to create a new structure in the team to reach the, the playoffs. But of course, every game is, is a new battle. So we, we're working on that. Awesome. Good luck today. Thank you. Yeah. Well, that is the plan. The idea is to create a new identity for this team. And, you know, it, look, it was looking like we weren't going to get to see Nasr play this year, but it's nice that he's yeah. here. He's going to be competing, and that's huge. That interview, that's exactly what I wanted yeah. to hear Bons from this team. They have needed a until April 20th. They have, they have Dude, that's nice like for them. Shock them awake and bring new ideas into the squad for so long. Honestly, Nasr joining this team is the most excited I've been about Furia since the very beginning of the America's League. It'd be quite nice for them that they played NRG as well, like one of the favorites. That's the sort of thing I was excited for, yeah. They didn't get a close game against one of the teams that, like, they're 100% expected to beat. He didn't plug the bundle. Oh, my God. What a miracle. What a fraud. That's a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> This is exactly what, what you need, and that's what I was talking about in terms of him being vocal, right? Uh, he needs to be able to add a little bit more and also shut down uh, some certain things that are going on within, within the team. I, I need to see a little bit of control taken away from MW to allow him to be the person that he needs to be the most out of yeah. anything. I just think it's really beneficial, uh, especially when you are someone that's bringing ideas into a team, that you pro have proven flexibility and you play a lot of different agents. I think that is just, for me, a clear signifier that you have deep understanding and you can actually come in and bring ideas into a playbook. Because going back to what I was saying earlier, that's what I felt like was missing for Fury, is the rounds felt so freestyled, and I want to see them come in with much more deliberate plans from the get-go. My biggest question is how bought in is this Damn, team Maple, that's savage. new system? How committed are they? To these we did have ideas. a big one Are earlier. Are see people falling into the comfort, the old mistakes we've been seeing? Or is this a team that is ready to... And do we get a new map pool? I mean, We're not look, sure. I, got o2 I, be, twice in a row, I, I can definitely see it before champs, but hopefully after. The system where we just got smacked twice and I would like to think kind of though, that everything from now on will be like a lot more and organized and in terms of like, big changes, multiple... I say multiple months. Yeah, multiple months before... Yeah, I like how officials are played. coming into this is like, you know, I could fix him, you know? There we go. He's got that energy to him, <laughs> and I support him on that. I definitely do. Let's go ahead, though, and head over to the map select and find out where we are headed today against these two teams. Hi, guys. Welcome to day three. As you know, teams were decided via coin flip. Furia will be team A, and crew will be team B. Furia, you will have first map ban. Uh, ban split. Furia ban split. What would you Free like? ban bind. Crew ban bind. What would you like to pick? Mm, pick a Lotus. If you pick Lotus, would you like attack or defense? Attack. Crew pick attack. Decisive. And what map would you like? Icebox. Crew pick icebox. And would you like attack or defense? Um, attack. If you pick attack, and you have one map banned. Mm. Ban sunset. If you ban sunset, and you have one map banned. We ban ascent. Crew ban ascent. The side of map is going to be breeze, and you will have attack or defense. Attack. Free your pick attack. All right, guys, best of luck today. 
I think this map select is so interesting because it's three maps that are very, very default heavy. Right away, you have Lotus. That's when I think that crew came in LCQ. Uh, Robbie, really thank you, thank you, with the 17 months. Thank you so much. Icebox, which you broke down a roundabout where Kesnik can kind of work around. I think both teams think that that's their identity, and I think it kind of is. And a ton of lurk opportunities on all the maps, like two jet maps. But <laughs> they always well. pick attack. Tons I mean, it's literal like, preference all like the time. Very much like you're saying, some teams like start yeah, defense, some teams really like start attack. A lot of teams. A lot of teams, at least for their first game, like start attack. Because it's um, before the game today, well, it's map dependent, but it's like less reliable, uh, less reliant on aim. Right, you can trade instead of having to get Moikos. Broadcast and Spaka from the Brazilian broadcast. Thank you guys both for joining me. Before we get into this one, I want to ask a little bit about some of the changes coming to these two rosters. RKT crew for a long time has been this LATAM only roster, and now they're picking up Heat, kind of subbing him in for this stage. What do you make of the new changes for crew i think really very useful they think on fix the things faster and he had the experience to change the role and do really good with them so i i see a good future for the crew what does uh, the brazilian scene feel about seeing one of their own kind of go over and play on another team because we've had this sw switch away switcheroo a few times already with yeah. sadat basically being a brazilian player at this point but now he's doing the same I think Brazilians are rooting for Hit, even he plays in a, a crew because when he left from IBR, it's not about gameplay, it's all about uh, confidence sure. about other players, so he deserves a spot in International League. Well, Noswer as well is kind of making a switch. Now he's going over to Furia. RKT, what do you think that he as a player could bring to that squad? Well, it's an EGL. And that's really, really important. I think Furia, one of the lacking points that they have at the organization. And I think that his experience, also, he already had played a lot of Furia and will bring a lot to them. Uh, I think I know who both of you guys are probably predicting or rooting for in this match. Okay. But I, I wanted to hear the pitch. Why is Furia the team who's going to win today? I think um, Nauser uh, um, play uh, side of MW0 is going to be better from Freer because he's much aggressive. And I feel like the other players from Freer are not going to be the follow up if MW0. So Nauser and MW are going to crush crew. Finally, some help for MW. That's, yeah. That's a good yeah. sign. All right. What's, what's your argument for crew, Rocky? Uh, I think that the change from Klaus to be an NGL, Melzer doing a much better like individual and mechanical skills. And now you have. I guess it will be playing with heat and like that first impact it will have will be really, really important. Okay, well, we could wait for the match to decide who's going to win or we could do something better. I hear you guys both pretty good at the Valorant game. Yeah. That's true. Maybe. You, you've been Sometimes. a competitor before, you know, yeah. RKT, you're ready. What if we decided on a 1v1? I, I instead? was silver too, but now I'm a gold too. So I He's think leveling up. Chance. Yeah. It's going to be a tough challenge. Well, let's hop over <laughs> to the computer. Let's go. Wait, let's, what? let's get the real game underway. We have one round between these two with their team's classics on one one side of sunset. Okay. I'm excited to see how this one's gonna go. Let's hop into it. Oh, you're rolling up your sleeves already. You're getting sweaty. Yeah. So two different agents here. <laughs> okay. So, so I think I won. I think he's cheating. I think you won. Yeah. yeah. Just, is that a Furia classic dip yeah. with the double dink instantly? Shooting, man. RKT, what happened? I was using my skills to the execute, but my team didn't help me. That's <laughs> where was that? Uh, yeah. Is that gonna happen today with crew? Yeah, no, I exactly. <laughs> wish not, man. That's gonna be, man. Furia gonna crush crew. Okay. Like this way. Th that's all I need to see. Back to the desk. <laughs> oh, that's. <laughs> I was quick. <laughs> Damn. I'm pretty sure the, the team didn't help me. That's a that's a Kesnet line in there, too. <laughs> Oh, man, RKT. shout out to Spaka and RKT uh, from our Portuguese as well, our uh, Brazilian as well as uh, uh, Latin American uh, broadcast. Big shout out to them. Go ahead and check them out. Um, yeah, guys, this is it. I mean, we're coming down to the wire here. We're going to be starting did the, the um, kind of get where did the crew? Because this is it. I would say it's where did the crew uh, one pistol predict. come in I, I the really know rankings? Lands, but to pigeonhole us like Mimi did with this. There's not many of that <laughs> color, right? <laughs> Must have done okay. <laughs> you defend them with your honor. All right. Well, what do you got? Uh, I got, I got, I got my boys. Actually. Oh, you needed a nice. smiley face. Yeah, look at that. That's nice. Like but in the amount of in the amount that they sold, they released all the rankings, right? I'm all, I'm all crew. It wasn't in the top five. Oh, okay. Did they not release like all of them? Okay, look. Here's the. Do they only do top five because they don't want to embarrass whoever came last? And I genuinely think that Kesnit can just... You're not a Nasra believer? Back. Oh, I can't. No, I'm a Kesnit believer. Like, I, I did the whole little thing over there with the breakdown. Like, come on. I, I, it's fair. You put a lot of stock in. I should breakdowns for Kesnit, and I'm like, oh, I think crew are going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that, right? You know? Yeah, so, it, it, but if... if 
Furia are to pick up this win, I, I feel like it would be off of the backs of, you know, of what Nosworth Look, can bring to this team. Honestly, what I saw already in that interview, I'm kind of shifting my expectation a little bit here. I, I, it really depends what I see in this first game for Furia, yeah. but my stocks have never been lower. Um, but after this, um, maybe they'll start to rise rapidly rather than just kind of being lukewarm. Yeah, yeah. Time. I won't believe it till I see it. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. They hear well, the I clip of the Zelsus thing with the referees, we yeah. We'll see it today. Well, folks, we only got one match um, today. Two teams are ready to take the stage. Been an issue before. Or in the past with it's like a little bit too strict to that stuff. Who's it going to be? Is it crew or will it be Furia? Day three of VCT America starts right now. That's why they're getting no tech balls, yeah, potentially. I mean, I know, um, I had EMEA is like very lenient with that stuff as well, so it is a bit of a diff depending on where it's from. A Kuro é um time muito agressivo, assim, que tipo, quando vai jogando e as coisas vão dando certo, eles ficam hypados com isso e acaba dando mais certo ainda. É, eu acho que a gente tem que parar isso e não deixar acontecer para a gente sair com essa vitória. Bueno, é um equipo que já conhecemos. É, nos enfrentamos durante a Liga do ano passado e também no Lactans. I think um, Americas has a super week at one point where they play every day. I think that's right, near the end of the month. Que podemos enfrentar, de enfrentarlo de buena manera e ganar el primer partido. Eu acho que a coisa mais importante tipo na Liga é o que é Snitch, né? Ele é um jogador que consegue quando ele está impactando, impactando bastante. O Shai, né? Eles são jogadores muito bons. É, mostrando sempre bons, bons performances na liga. Creio que a maior força do time da Fúria é, é a Mira. É um time muito mirudo. E dentro do servidor eles reagem muito ao mapa. Então acho que, que seja isso. Bom, acho que a gente We see most teams use it, Gabri. Especially Heretic. Muito. It's more just like momentum. Que é isso? More just moving é, so you can't get shot. Deles. Riot Games Arena. You never wanna. I won't go too into it, but you never wanna like slow down. You wanna ca You basically wanna pop in all the time. Yeah, Mango, I'll try and do that more. Season, but now here they're looking to turn the page on a new chapter for crew visa it could be a it upset the level lost to c9 dude that game was fun man i still think that ascent was fun fishing for for a long time and then on the other side for furia well this is a team that's on the rebuild that's looking to come up with new ideas and a new identity and today could very well be their day the ge song do pacific never do individual walkouts anymore though for the songs okay here we are loud 
best Brazilian team of all time. Yeah. You think it would be like, um, what, even like Split 2 for you? Even though all undefeats will come back heavier. I still can't gauge how they are. Sentinel, I, I need to see them against like, I don't know, like, like one of the other mid teams. Were you listening to the song, Jay? Okay, yeah, sure. Sorry. No, but I really Thoughts on how DRX look way better than I thought. Foxy9 on Sentinel looks very comfortable. Um, yeah, I'm kind of impressed. And I think that's absolutely necessary to get themselves out of the, like, funk they've been in for the last almost year now. And it's entirely possible that we do see a large shift coming in in day one. But my expectations for this match is that it is going to be so much, especially with the map pool, going to be about the mid rounding and finding where can you actually seize those gaps in the enemy play. The duels on both sides like to get very, They changed their name active. to Crew Visa. Do they get the? So for me, well, get yes, the sponsor. Would be a great sign for the part of the contract was this to put a Visa in the name. Has maybe. Always been about getting down and getting get that money in the mid round. Absolutely, I think that's what you saw when these two teams played against each other last year as well and for me i'm looking at heat this guy hasn't been on the stage in a long time uh in the last iteration of mibr when he was playing last year he ended up floundering out right he was very exciting yeah. very electric many people were excited about him and then he just kind of fizzled out and yes he was injured last year but now he's a lot of time to rest to reflect to figure out how exactly he's going to bring it to the stage and how he's going to end up being back on this stage in a permanent more role the learning is the big thing for me with this guy what did he learn from kind of parting ways with MIBR with how it all went down last year with some conflicts within that team how is he reflected on himself as yeah. a player and what is he going to now bring into this new roster for him because it's not going to be the same deal with MIBR he Valorant go team I don't know man we don't really have one so many game changes too fast to I think he's going to have to shift to being a lot more of a flexible guy probably playing on that KO role you'll still have to be aggressive you'll still take those risks you're still heat but it is going to be very different than what he's used to kind of feels like uh, a little bit of what we were talking about regarding like cryo and tens ace players guys who were like the duelists on their team great aimers migrating into a more supportive role now as their career kind of like i, I don't want to say like winds down but as they themselves you know start to see themselves more as foundational pieces rather than the whole show i do think we are reaching a point in valorant where there are a lot of players that initially came out as duelists that are transitioning into other roles uh but i think in this case of course we are uh just going for that swap into mta so it's unclear whether or not for me he, thing, yeah. that wants to yeah. be a full switch for him but or this could uh, be even, the start for that yeah or even if they do try Sage. to play uh, some, some double okay, like maps, it. potentially on Breeze later I as mean, well. Right away, right? Yeah, That's I think it's too hard, man. What Mimi, you were expecting more so than anything else. And here, this is Lotus, right? So, yeah, it looks like I think mo both of these teams are teams that always stick with the traditional. They don't necessarily go far out in the meta, except Crew maybe last year at the beginning when they uh, experimented with a little bit of Neon on this map. Sure. Uh, I, I but even they moved away from that pretty yeah, quick. Yeah, very yeah. fast. And I, I do think it's pretty surprising to see Nasra actually going back into the sky. Almost every team has moved over to the fade on this map. That sky now not having rechargeable flash. It's a lot harder to cycle no, no. get info on the defense like you used to with that agent. Yeah, sky is way more committal if you're using a sky flash to fight for early space initially. It is way more committal than just a haunt, for example. Which makes me think that could be some more of the same, right? Where they're going for these. My opinion on GE, I mean, it's kind of kind of same where, is where it was. Just firepower's lacking. Yeah, I'm really interested to see how fire this powers too, lacking and then go kind of like try and force a lot of times they force a, a lot of plays a lot of times he picks chat on maps where make a lot of mistakes he's got the race yeah. <laughs> i like his race better though Me last too. year that lcq run it was built on the race maps it was built on this guy i think finding a slightly different style his jet is sage no i think sage is legit still they just good on when he's on this race they just good on icebox and sunset i think sage is in a good spot and up against MW Zera, it's going to be fun to watch. Let's get this match underway. Send it over to your casters, who are two ranked demons, I've heard. Spencilian Rivington. Thank you so much, Jimmy. Indeed, we are some ranked demons, and maybe not the highest rank that we want. I think we're some like top 500,000 or something, right? but go. yeah, Crew Visa versus Furia today is going to be a great series. I think I do agree as well with what the desk was mentioning when they set up the stage. 
I need to believe it when I'm going to see it. From whose side? I mean, somebody's going to have to win today. Yeah, yeah. I mean, already, this is a game that requires the ham horn to be pulled out. <laughs> so get out your ham horns because we're about to get on to Lotus and see what these two teams have for stage one. What are the changes? We, we heard they've both been refreshed. They're feeling good. Some of these lock-ins that they now feel like could right. be the answer to woes they faced last season. Let's see how these teams are looking at these changes. Okay, if you're on defense crew on attack and speculate as much as we want we have a we oh man. Into a person drill into broke the door on a buy except the two classic contact from raise wheel. flash swing oh my flash so take this a mount or a main control walls down there's first contact and crew wow he got both first, dude that must have been fast we, but that must have been really fast the adjustment to kill this guy and then this guy the that's a six star on the defensive side of Puria and has to rotate all the way from the c to a against three players here of crew visa a tall task for Havoc and very quick play to start off from crew. No hesitation. They also didn't see too much util thrown back at them as they, they entered into A. So felt pretty good about taking that space. This one yeah, no idea that they all door him. One last alt point if Havoc can't just kind of deny everything here. I just want to make a little bit of noise though. He wants to force the hand out of crew. Yeah. Who still has utility left to use that heat now in a new initiator role. Switching away from the duelist to be that support for Kesnit. <laughs> we'll be able to group together with the rest of crew visa, and they'll answer first in this series. Furia had the strat that was pretty set to stop crew there, but I don't think Furia believed it would happen as, as quickly as it did. As soon as that wall dropped, door was open, but still two shots That's from Klaus. a nice way to stun it. able to capitalize on that space gained. And that kind of just throws the entirety of Furia's defense. Literally crew visa, yeah. No coming back from that one. Looks like Sheriff's it. Still there for MW Zera with the buy. And it's going to be three Vandals and a Guardian. Crew is just gonna put a smack down on this. It must be relatively big. Okay, um, pistol into this one in terms of one sheriff, and that is just random timing. Still didn't break the turret. So far, they do realize crew is taking this slow, waiting back on their own side of the map to start here. The only thing that's difficult there with what Furio was doing here is that they didn't even get the, tur the turret down towards that B spawn. Which then means it's easier for crew to rotate around if they need to, but again, you've mentioned it with... They nice start, and I think this is the first time Heat's ever played a non-duelist in an official. Forward, like the first ever time. Hello, Keeper, how are we done, mate? And for crew visa, at least they'll plant the spike over at A. Trying to identify where miss some of these guns are, if they can even get one. <laughs> Yeah, it seems a little bit far here towards the ore, but at least just like the beginning of the, the round. The wall goes in, dude. Down. He put wall up the wall down. and Nosworth gave them the cross to get the guns. That, that might backfire. Guardian. Changing now the times. Potential for crew to win this comeback. Door being open to try to fight and clear towards tree, but all of crew are holding back at the top of heaven. In the back this guy's just non-stop opening door. Watching the angles. And the last two players of Furia. Looking to die to spike and also potentially save the guardian or do some damage. Give me the viper. No catch one. I'm just gonna try catch him. Klaus to fall. Conan decides to not give his life away, at least to his opponent. Oh man, <laughs> just on the edge. Nas were caught on the heels. Have to buy a gun. That's so fun. But gonna go down with that one. Furia putting up quite a fight here in these first few first few rounds to give crew some trouble. And those vandals definitely telling of how crew kind of just wants to get the wins on this one. Yeah. And there's that stat it's right there. Said. First time they were seen heat as a non-dualist agent. And again, that's that question mark and what was being brought up by Spaka over on the Brazilian broadcast. That he's pretty much there to support Kesnit. Maybe heat will be the glue to Kesnit's opening, but also that's still great firepower that they add yeah. into the arsenal of crew here in this matchup today. I feel like we're, as we see a little bit of C mound control, we're just in this era of a, a lot of the fraggers, a lot of the marksmen that we see in our league. 
Quick shot towards heaven. Oh, nice little, like nice little dink through the wall here. Heat goes back onto something, kind of just a reset, right? Re Bonus is the very good at the moment the from crew in Leaf terms of just their guns. Now, just the board. Super proactive Seems searching like for them, lose A control, gain all the BC control. But getting a chance to reset Eight. on a different agent. Go away from the old. See how it works out for him. Now into this bonus. You're gonna go back. I mean, this is still nice. Heavy question mark created here. To get these vandals online. Just still, cleared over towards B control, and we with this shy, lurking, early door. a question mark. Right now, have the heaviest the stack, the and Khalil really needs to TP out so they go for that extra jewel. Surviving with two like considering his team is so Quickly far away there, as soon as he meets someone, he needs to go back. To There's a lovely luck coming there. in from the kill joint. The crew looking pretty decent at the moment. Teammates, it gives a chance to crew to just walk in and get this plant down. Heat gets this plant, they have a nightfall as well. Grenade. Oh my word. Look at this lurk coming in all the way through the back. If they time this perfectly, it's big kills for Shy. And that's gonna ping all players, making it what? very difficult to hear anything, giving a chance. He got another one on that. Yeah, dude, the luck doesn't even know, need to come in. He got four. The fatal hit everyone, did a lot of well, did minus the K. And Kesner just cleans up. That's first four kills for him. Last big buy rounds, good stuff for uh, You have the safety net in Shy's lurk, but yeah. Kesnet. What is that? Where is that of a kill? To come through. Great defense. The 4K, the showstopper, very close to coming online. It's exactly what you want to see from Kesnet starting off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's a lunatic. The fans still there. Just building up this energy that crew can use to keep this okay. momentum. Lord of money. Lord of money with this one. Got some upgrades as well in terms of the guns. And they are kind of just strolling out towards A. So this needs to not happen at one point. I'm fear that I doesn't want to show anything yet. A little bit of shots that came through from the staircase at the beginning of the round for Nas were, but... Enough? Yeah, there's a lot to know. Bucky as well. Bucky, Odin, Marshall. The stack is. Probably the judge again. C site for information. A crossfire set up on B and a three player stack on A site for the defensive side. As there is that utility coming out, try to, trying to flush out those defenders. The Guide dog goes in, hits three. Well, sees three over towards door. From Nosworth. And crew's starting to feel that there's maybe more than just one player around after seeing that initiator utility yeah i think kesnet's given the calls like i don't feel like it's safe blast packing through that you're only entering through tree if yeah, that would be the worst thing separate ever separate those first holds because no, people might actually think that's what a good be? idea fake being done breaking yeah. door one satchel and already all of Furia rotates out of a making it a lot harder for them to retake the site now with only these pistols i mean there's a couple of stairs as well but they can't close the gap, they can't use yeah, They are making this advantage. one look easy as, as well. Very clean, troubles. four people, people survive. Armor rebuy. Bolts are pretty much here. One away in terms of this one. Right. Money's out of control. We've got two, three, three people. Okay, They're going to reach 9k. Probably some lurkers. You get yeah, this needs to, to happen. They do. The they got to go aggro A. Just to pull that A defense off their original holds. Get them out of position. And you see crew crap. I'm still so, doing good, dude. Just really shy. Nice the shy and burrowing away. To being able Doesn't come out to too much, but that's fine. Your, your opponents and their defensive spots. And still going back to A. They did not fear the fact that the stack was. I would I nerf the Marshall? So um, shoot not as fast and no scope accuracy. Not as good. To reset. Still looking to make this defense hit crew and make crew worry about it the extremity pushes from furia have been stopped at mound they don't get too much pressure and then that kind of resets there really hasn't been too much of a push towards a and you you only have the nade to throw from that defensive side so you can't really set up the seize nade or getting somebody locked up that's a great point actually Riv, because yes they've added pressure on the c mount but on the a side there was never that big pressure of let's go back here yeah. mental yeah, yeah bro it's so high on c -Mount it really is there was no opposition. You didn't want to continue to move forward to find info. You just rotated around and stacked. And when you have no info on the A side either, you could get your players caught there with right. what we saw Khalil alone on that <laughs> I don't, I don't so think some teams need. I think you guys are. Uh, I think you guys love roster changes quite a lot. By Nas were to try to get that mid rounding call of perfect read into the mid round as crew's doing a great job at that. Although on their end on the Time attack, they're shown, they've shown a lot of their strategies so far in the first four rounds. 
It seems like Fury will try to figure this one out. With I'm just decided that dual hamster bro, so it's like real small. If she comes out, I'll try and make the camera bigger. Ready to go wherever they decide to end this round. No, it goes to Kesnet. Oh, I didn't realize he was one off. Yeah, obviously Kesnet gets it. So much more pressure added by the showstopper. And I like that. So off the time out of Fury. They actually went for the dog for that information gathering. Sees nobody towards that B side. They know the engagement is now towards A. After realizing that Kesson has the Fury does not give in them like all the map control together. ever. Yeah. This gives them a chance to flood a little bit faster. And for a lurk to happen, actually, it's going to be a full TP from Khalil. Yeah, let's see what this retakes like. It can have a very good omen flush, as we can see at the moment, if they wanted to push all the way through. Just on the other side. First contact will be heat. Throws utility inside the door, and it's just beautiful there. Very hard for Dude, they got to, to go aggro towards A. Elise gets two. Last player standing. Uh, now, to Nosware. Latest addition to the roster. Tapping on that spike. I mean, the players are far. It's halfway. He's trying to full stick it. And Melzer just goes for the drive by. Easy kill as we have five now unanswered rounds for Crew Visa. Crew comes flying through, and the way they're preventing the retakes must be so annoying for Furia. The way that Baby Door was held, Kesnitz hugging Baby Door, so as he draws the paranoia, Ooh. Kesnitz can wow. still see as they come through. Really, the big mind games. Sight's given a little bit of space, but they're easy, uh, easily able to come around, stop the defuse, stop it all. Five in a row now for Crew, back to a low buy for Furia. And they're looking for a little bit of A control this time. Kesnet just absolutely dropping Bro, Havoc. What the this hell is going on? The they are getting annihilated. What is that shot? It was so fast. Bro, they are just running it down, by the way. Like, they, no joke. There, there isn't much need for mid rounding in the past couple of rounds. Like, it's just. It's just sight hits. Just, it's just ranked. Really all crew set up Map control and to side hits. The side as well. Furia, I mean, you're gonna have to try to do something with these stingers. Unless they get a quick you just let Kesnet try and hunt Kuzino. again? Get another roll? Fully delayed by beautiful yeah. Utility by Klaus yeah, it looks like it. Bites. Smoke coming through. What really can you do? Wait, the crash. Yeah. There's just so much delay. Oh, they're gonna push. Hello. <laughs> Try to farm that up a bit. I mean, you've done the damage. You're trying to do the damage. There's just too much in terms of economy. Yeah, but honestly, this is fine for crew. Just stacking up orbs. Like, they made it expensive, but what? Do they really care about the money? Not really. Crew, what is going on? Even crew, heat is already almost at the nightfall. That was just throwing bags of money at the problem. Honestly, just went spawn and, like, throw bags of money at it. We're fine. Yeah. Yeah, so th that's ridiculous from Crew, because with that kill, they skirt the push for A from Furia. Had we not had Havoc go down there, then Crew may hear that push from A. Then they have to. It's too long though, Fru. That's the issue. You are like three lines. Fury is just straight into sight, and the push. Hey, you are like three lines. I can't. I can't read that. Too far too behind. Crew just one step ahead, whether they know it or not. The shots are making it happen and everything fall into place. Heat gets up on tonight. Fall. Bro, what is going on, man? They let them walk out over towards A. They just insta one tap every single time they see someone. One way that was being thrown there on the defense and just decides to creep up and gets an entry like that. This was an opportunity for Furia to get their first point on the board. As a swing round comes in with two important ults on their ends and a rifle round. But instantly, as you just mentioned, now they play it out. I'm out. I mean, they've used the timeout. Might have to use another timeout. Doesn't have any control of that defensive side, right? Every but why, why have they, why they not taken map control? Crew. And when they do find Furia members, they're just looking at the wrong angle. Here towards Tree, and a splash through the wall. See if they can make an impact on A. Furia trying with four now. Things are pushing it is towards that baby door. Shy gets the pick. MW0 now pops up the showstopper. Lands it on Klaus. And manages to stay alive here at 21 HP. Tw uh, three on three. As Conan's trying to move in with the rest. Melzer pushing up to the staircase. Getting two kills holding Maybe the, the best chance so far. And that's back to a one versus one. Conan versus Heat. Looking down is Heat. Getting yeah, nicely done. Conan look at the wrong area rather. It 
They're it's deep. wild. You can That's almost see the chaos in Furia's retake. While they, they know what they're doing, they're still not sure of the timing. Where's crew going to be? What are they going to do this time? We haven't figured out an answer of the last one. They could be doing something wild, and they usually are. These pushes into Baby Door, catching Nazwar off. These forces up towards heaven, and they continue to push that position, too. We'll see here. Unfortunately, looking down, thinking yeah. that's... Cohen, um, yeah, timing's unlucky there. But I was going to mention to add on to what you were saying, they, they used. Oh my God, they go A. As well they go aggro A. They right, got some information, right. but we go. They have map control. Well to help MW0 with their Let's see if it helps retake. them. A little bit separate right now on those retakes as well, and not anticipating the shy lurks, which now results to a seven to zero scoreline for Crew Visa so far. And this is even one of the first rounds where Furia has crew on their own side they were able to get the the sky dog or sky guiding light and a nade here so applying a little bit of pressure but is crew sweating yet up seven zero you just have to figure out where that's, see, that's a big win they had to it. use double prowler to clear and that that's off that's a good start from conan yeah Whoa. nicely done and now they're actually winning some aim jobs they could start sweating a bit yes <laughs> oh, no nah, man come not on death surely not in the roster but there are also two players behind in this round number eight, yet Shy still trying to get an opening, trying to get a lurk. Sees the high low off the contact of the turret, stays alive. Now here comes the other lurk on the A site, where Klaus is trying to move up with heat. Unfortunately, those numbers continue to dwindle down. It's only fitting to fit the script that we currently have here on a 7 0 scoreline with these two teams. 30 seconds. Heat gets a timing. MW0 falls, but there's still a player at the top of heaven. He's playing it alone, One getting off the remaining. spike, hurt the footsteps, spike but down, couldn't look up on B. time. It's up to Shy now. Damn, he's Maybe close to his monitor. There's 15 seconds left, I think that's pretty much it. You're gonna have to save here. And we Damn, stick bro. Stick, yeah, Ten money's still left. there for crew. The 7-1 comes in, and we look at what this means for the, the future rounds. Is this fight coming in? Havoc ready? No, maybe not. Next time. Uh, we see what this might mean. The lockdown is there. The pit for Conan coming up with a good amount of <laughs> oh, that's bro. One to boot. Doesn't matter. Already has it, but it'll put the KDA in his <laughs> Dude, get, uh, get out of my stream, man. Go back to your own stream. Needs to get through Cruise economy, right? we just oh, poor mods, man. I feel bad for him, though. What have we started? Out of Conan control. Set the pace of the round. The first round that Freely <laughs> was able to dictate. Another reason not so I chose to sending his viewers. Over at stairs because crew did not have the initial setup they usually do i like the call it looked kind of weird maybe from our perspective that shy just went in at one second left to die <laughs> but you're getting 1900 in terms of your right. bonus instead of a thousand and at the same time it was probably a call from club to say hey you could die we could try to control an orb and give you an ult <laughs> as well and you'll have three strong ults okay see so really if they go in two in a row those for the rest of the half and you could definitely see it here crew Trying to focus towards that B main, but could late pivot towards the door if they want yeah. to. Right, so much nicer now they go close towards A. Push. Like, look how much better the, it is to just play the map once they do this. How did it take them, eight, like, eight rounds? Yeah, this is a new look Fury is getting now. But they're responding really well with their hold so far. Backing up to play it safe. And quickly skirting in to breakable. MW Zera repositions a little. F see... Previously, crew would have had one or two, a few kills here when this wall drops. But this is what Fury is doing a lot better now here. Trying to make this a 7-5 first half. And they also want to try to pull these defenders out towards this A side, so potentially Kesne could get an entry with the showstopper towards B. Yeah, and then they're going to force them into A, and they got three side. people here. Instead, you don't use a showstopper, but you still try to open that door and finish there oh. towards baby door. Hey, there is that showstopper being heard. <laughs> <only gets back laughs> he really, really thought he was going to W key him with the ult, but Kesne didn't send it. Oh, oh. Ah, nice kill from the Kesner there. <laughs> they even have a map. Yeah, yeah, they're going everywhere they want. They're going they everywhere they want. Oh, this is so one-sided. They're, they're, they're getting games, so man. wrecked. Ten seconds left. Spike planted. Yeah, Crew Visa seems to have any entry that they want here. Either it's working towards this B site, A. Slow pushes towards C. There's really no answer yet to Furia, but I think it's to what we were mentioning before at the beginning yeah. of this game. In the four rounds that we've seen so uh, at the beginning of this game, there were so many different looks that we've seen from crew. It was ore pushes for rubble, some lurks, doors not breaking, Shy gets a backstab. So Furia's consistently guessing this whole time. 
In round nine, as I poke the screen, <laughs> round nine, they go towards B to start. He to does. mess they things keep up doing a little that. bit and leave Kesnet there as the breadcrumb to then be the attack later. Almost the spearhead of the attack as he opens up with first blood, finalizes with three. And a save here from Khalil. Eight to one now. His crew starts with a punishing eight rounds. They might, they, they might have to double pause, ago, right? Double timeout? Right yeah, they... So tough to I know, I know the map's like attack sided, just... but... A little faster on the timing than Furia is even. They also had three people That's over towards B, and they still. Everybody. When it lost like everyone. That lockdown is still there. Need LMS from Havoc here to be last man standing, so they can get this into positions, play a little bit of retake. It is going to be a judge by with some vandals. And they still won't get too much rubble control. Pillar, just a default now from Crew, to read kind of this portion of the first half where they're not sure what Fury you might do on a buy. Yeah. And as the desk mentioned as well, maybe potentially Nosworth could be the one fixing the NW0 right now in this mm -hmm. current iteration of Furia. But they haven't really been sticking together like glue here at this point. And as I say that, there is that pivot. A walk contact, there's noise being made. Melzer's playing it close. Does have support as well from Shy. So for Crew Visa's side, they're just trying to bait a, play the bait and try to force them out. You're not going through door with the spike, surely. Oh he my entry, goodness, gosh. that was nice. He gets the entry with the spike. Opens the door, just focusing over towards door, and then just walks up and shoots in the no sides. No cover go, elsewhere. I can't believe this is their map. I can't believe this. They can't. They cannot look like this in practice. There's no way it looks like this in practice. It, it seems like a little bit of desperation plays. Everybody's trying to get that kill, yeah. but still, crew is thinking about that. They're guarding each other. They're not making the mistake that would allow that kill. And Furia falls to the wayside in so many one v ones that last to trade, as you said. And now they push M W Zera here. I, mean, gets, I was gonna say, pad some stats if yeah. you get more judge kills. I'd like to see that a little bit more from Furia. There's only a couple rounds left here in the half, and they've been trying to play very meticulously, trying to read yeah. how Crew's currently playing. I'd Crew, like honestly, when Crew, when Crew respect. have like a set amount of time it's off, they really seem to well, you get those make in, everything you give like you a lot of to look way better. I mean, honestly, they didn't yeah, even look that bad at kickoff. For your first half, for your first map, and your opening game here at the BC Americas in 2024. It, it's it's. Uh, really coming down they do look good. I mean, yeah, it is. It's a solid point. mix right now. I mean, it is a solid mix. Over the, and you see the solid the mix of crew is in there now. doing good that stuff, but Fury is just, just giving them a lot. On your duelist, Kaznitz there being the duelist. Klaus has the opening kills of the control you wouldn't expect because the teams with the Viper. Last time out. It's not Klaus lurking. It's Klaus being on the front of some of these strats with every nine one. At a so. Yeah, Crew sure. is finding the firepower everywhere they need it here, and it's just stunting Furia at every entrance. Timeout. Furia to reset once more here for your first half. And a 9-3 is still possible as they get some buys in here with low armor in. And Khalil's got that Sheriff. A lockdown still to be used, which shows you the speed one that Crew's playing at, how much they keep flexing Furia back onto low buys. But the round of that I was talking about where they're playing with speed... Fury is not in position to say, yeah, lockdown will be good here. No, we already lost one or two. We we can't afford to use it this round. They literally aren't getting the chance. So quiet, to yeah. Because it crew is. is decimating. Yeah. They do about the music. Those chances need to be given as opportunities by winning these single duels. There's a lot of these moments where even crew activates early control of lurks yeah. and opening attempts, yet still being won on hey, the Hey, does anything side change for the last either. two rounds? Four people here have to go aggro A, but I think this is good. On this a side. I think they need to they need to make sure they can get control. But now maybe they're going to go all the way through. They have four people here. They leave the armor now. Omen flash does hit both. All these in. Just by the Hobbit door. One being damaged, forced to fall back, healing up. Lockdown. Potentially in position towards the waterfall, but he's going to be alone here for Havoc. And he only has a sheriff to defend this win. Damn, dude. Whoa, what the hell is going on here? The Seekers goes in and at least broke one. He's going for round the world, but the Seekers let him know. As he makes it out on time, that's Khalil. 
Just enough. And Melzer. Two really good plan. Both omens alive. One TP coming out from Khalil. Instantly gets cancelled. So they have information of where Melzer's at. Nosware inside the pit of that B site. Trying to get the tap on the spike, but tries just watching the main. One versus one. They have info. The alarm bot's there too. And now Shy's oh just my. Head shot, but that's a nice shot. That's going to make him guess a bit. Shy's going to have to play a little bit more. Yeah, because here. when you just dinged him, why would you full stick it? Ten, oh, nicely done from Shy here. Just like if you. He, he eats a dink there, and obviously he doesn't know the amount of damage done, but you're going to think he's around like 30 to 1. So yeah, they're not going to stick it after, so he knows that and uses it to his advantage. Very nice round from him. That's rinse and repeat here for Crew on a lot of these rounds, and the games that Shy is able to play to secure this one on to Khalil. We go to round 12 now with the yeah. first half. Night falls <laughs> Not here today, it seems for you. Yeah. get the lockdown used and whatnot. MW Zero with ultimate to push back at first. Mountain control is going to be the name of the game to start. It looks like Crew wants to fight it. Melzer just went for a jump spot and Sakhalil yeah. trying to play the offing on the left side of Mound. And now the smoke comes down on the attack. And that control that you're trying to bring and the surprise attack from Buddha potential will get stopped. You saw MW Zero was tucked in behind those wooden boxes. Getting rid of the showstopper in case it was a heavy pressure from crew. Yet they open the door, they're trying to create some sort of paranoia and try to pinch and push aggressively. Nice little change, what we wanted to see. Yet Klaus is doing the oh. same on the other end. Beautiful angle held by Havoc. They finally score forcing around with a player advantage. In to see they go. Finally stop. Oh boy. Damn, bro. He nearly got a third one as well. But EA HP, he did so much damage with this ult. One player left alive, Melzer, low HP. Okay, well they double it at the end. And a silver lining for Fudi on the end of the I can't believe we didn't see an aggro A until eight rounds in. That's so bizarre. I don't know if there's more much more to say there. Really controlling the first bloods, dictating how the rounds are going, and then they let Furia know this is not going to be an easy series. Yeah, definitely not. At this point, too, Crew Visa, again, had full control of everything going around uh, on their attack side. But on the, I'd like to think Could Wingman be able to tank Viper Mollies? I mean, yeah, he's got to be good at something. You know, said, oh, I think it's all right. You might see some, yeah. do, you think the, some, do you think the ult of Gecko needs to be eight, though? The it's the only thing I would change. So at least as we're trying to wait to see what's going to happen, Ahead of stage one, we sat down with Melzer to get his thoughts on the crew roster changes. So let's see what he has to say. Yeah, I, f I find that weird as well that well, they picked this map with how passive they played. The role of GL is affecting a bit my desempeño, según mi opinión. Y Klaus también estaba dando muy buena idea, entonces creemos que el rol de GL se veía bien para él y para mí soltarme un poco y poder desempeñarme mejor. Y el, la incorporación de Hit es por una lesión que tuvo Motita en su muñeca. Creo que la incorporación de Hit agrega mucho firepower eh, y experiencia. Creo que eso es lo que lo identifica más. Eh, tiene muy ben, ha tenido muy buen desempeño, tiene muchas buenas propuestas y tiene mucha calma al momento de jugar que viene de la mano de la experiencia que trae. Yeah, and definitely you see the results so far this first half, and he yeah contributing quite well. Yeah. Maybe not at the top of the board, but that's not his role. He's not going to be the one trying to get the entries for the team, right? But his assist factor is there. And it's crazy. It's not crazy to see. It's good to see that that role change can be there mentally as well. That he's not being like, no, let me just I'll push up again. Let me be that first to peak. No, it's it really. And the music go out well for crew. That's how weird, doesn't it's it? It's supposed to work on paper and in the server. <laughs> Copyright hey, strikes. <laughs> I mean, you got to be focused when you got to lurk, right? I, I kind of like this. When you're actually really close to that monitor. And Dude, everyone's, the yeah. everyone's tweeting out so shy. Is, your focus is yeah, now it is insanely close to the monitor, though. I mean, lurk. look at it. Which means I don't need to focus on my minimap. I know my path that I have to do. I'll get that backstab. <laughs> see, you're basic. What doesn't look the same in front of me? Oh, a shoulder broke that angle. Boom. Shoot. <laughs> you're seeing that. Pixel perfect. And we'll see what they can do to keep it going because, man, it has been. Has he seen so the minimap? No chance he sees minimap like to that. Two on that first half and in dominating fashion to 
simply run the same strats, really default it up until that first blood comes through. And then it wasn't even a first blood. There were a few 1v1s that would happen. Then crew gets their trade on the rotation, the way they were controlling Furia's retakes. It's not fun to play that type of game. So let's see if Fury gets to play crew here on, on the side. pistol. As we get full back pass and push 13, to B. Just and a few seconds two people are going to face them. On. Interesting. Ghost, Sheriff. What's Omen doing? Is he TPing over Sheriff towards here and doing some kind of Omen flash of the contact the or something? Almost. His Klaus looks to keep that armor for himself. Yeah, definitely looking to have a little bit of utility here on the defensive side of okay. crew. So they could try to push some players back on the aggression. Oh, man. But Kesnit first. <laughs> oh, they can't catch a break. <laughs> they decided to swing the early with the sky dog and there's four the people here. Kills, Dude, how does he get two there? The Impressive. Two v two in the door or three v three rather than the door. Kalil needs to uh, try and get yeah. one. While all of this happens, though, what I mean, is Kalil going on? One for one two, but given the, the time for the attacker side to rotate towards a open a door, get a plant, but they're double pushing towards spawn. I'm liking this. It might catch these two players up through off guard. Just around the corner, it's Kesnit and Melzer scaling back up towards the staircase. One smoke, one blast pack. We don't isolate now. Well, he was looking to be isolated on two different 1v1s. As Havoc lands that shot, Melzer looking for one towards the back of the side. The dick mm, is not nicely done. Starts right. with a pistol. Buria, they score the pistol round, and this might be what they needed here. Yeah. To bring it back on the second half. The pistol round, a must. The rest of them also a must. They do not have much of a chance. Coaches here. must be a mortal discourse going on Twitter go. right now. I had to drop the conversation and bacon is gold. Hole. That's so sick. Is he good? Yeah, I think just for the sake of exposing Bacon, I would be down to uh, a, a little bit down to join in. To it be, if not the Say that. Be there in the end. Problem is, no, none of the coaches have and time to out. play. <laughs> That's They're the issue. They're breathing a sigh of relief on this. They can still look at Lotus as something they need to hit. Yeah. All right. Like if coaches have time Back to play the game, I'm actually worried. Second round, avoid all the utility and any zany pushes from crew. But still, quite spread out here. Furia is taking space. Oh. This is big. Shy breaking that dog, yeah. and they'll just think, okay, he's the Killjoy player playing C site. Nice little dink Elise comes out from Havoc, but they don't know about this. the other three players inside the smoke, and finally they do when you hear those jumps coming across. Kesde was able to get one fight, and somehow Havoc still gets dropped by Melzer. Numbers game. He said, I saw three. They said, okay, we run. Now towards A. Shy's jumping into oh, the <laughs> Yeah, that's going to be tough. He's done so. <laughs> Elise. The rotate's coming out from crew. Yep. There's lurks around. And also, at least, when they got that pick on that seaside, there was no weapon upgrades apparently available for crew visa. Yeah, just a sheriff coming Yeah, I'm going to see what shine. damage they can do. As he detected all those members now trying to get this retake, Klaus, Melzer, and he. Should be easy huh? uh, now to close out the round, especially with Nasra on the Vandal. Running away to the last two players. Yeah, that's what I mean, Natito, really man. It's just like... Standing. And it's not like ranked is relaxing. Yeah. Like, no, yeah. you're not hitting me with the I'm just playing ranked to relax. See if he has it. No one does that. Make that damage. But it's clean. Pretty decent there for Furia to convert the pistol round. Nicely done. Still have that Vandal. Sheriffs were there. It looks like they're going to go straight Exactly that, Jelly. That's what I'm saying. Too. You play rank. You play rank to ruin round. your day. Just a perfect yeah. day until this you is, decide to queue up. Honestly, kind of I think that is, dude. When I was playing in the uh, in the off season, it was like honestly the first month was pretty fun. And then like rounds, the fifth week, I was like, man. It actually, see, like normally I could laugh off some of the, the mental things that happen. And then when you have it like on your hundredth game, you're like, actually, this is this is a bit ridiculous now. Just that util mass, they find that KJ has a bit at B. It was a deep alarm bot that was placed there by Shy, and then also yeah. forced Melzer to throw the paranoia out early towards the front B, which means he has no utility. The Reina arc? I mean, the Reina arc got Seems me to like a mortal. What can I say? It. It's, flash and it's tried and tested. Pressure, gain control of Mountain, and they'll be able to do that successfully. 
Prowler now on the defense, thrown by Grugiza. It's just the, the easy route. Out too. You don't have to rely they're on everyone. They're taking a lot of space, but then they're giving it up, and that space isn't any anything at the site. They've received a bit of util back. Yeah, the, the week-by-week week mental eight. breakdown, you're not wrong. timing to move up for Furia. And they should have numbers over towards the right Thompson's side. A little bit of a reset on the defense. Yeah, and we'll this is looking a little bit scary. Ball. Fade gets actually, into position. Actually, Ray's gets into position. The baby door here. Not at all. Oi. Allows for him to set up with the zone. <laughs> <laughs> Why she gets hit by it. Still has support from Kezin out towards the baby door. That looks so Shine funny. Shine the second one trying to run through, but he gets stopped by a snake bite thrown on the attack. Still one more player inside. There's 20 seconds left on the clock. They're going backwards. What are they back at the shot? <laughs> what is going on? There's only two players left with 13 seconds left. <laughs> on the side of Furia, spotted by the turret. Shy playing the off angle. Trying to at least deny the plant. Nosworth There's no way you don't W it. forward there. Now a nice little kill by Conan. Shy is the, the most disciplined player I've ever seen. One, one on both ends. Six Drew seconds. Getting the defuse. And they get the first run on defense. Hey, almost had it. If you never commit, neither can they. <laughs> almost to be at the last second to stretch crew thin, but so much indecision in that round. We pick up the Odin. Makes a lot of B. sense. They fake B, and you get you get crew to rotate out of their positions. That's great. Furia backs up. All right. <laughs> He's inside them. Focus. He's they so close to the monitor, he couldn't see that there were six mountain. seconds well, left. Dude, you might genuinely be sides. onto something. And then the A hit just gets all muddled <laughs> up. <the tree. laughs> actually, yeah. might actually have sussed it out. Uh, Do you know when we when we used to play? I, I'm not even joking you. For like a whole, for like a whole six months, um, cryptics, cryptics would play with digital vibrance so high that because it's like you know the time is red against red, you could never see what the time is when it got red. But for, for about six months of the game, it's crazy that we didn't lose for so long. We would never know how many seconds are left when it gets to like minus twenty. It was mental. It's now two rounds away of winning this first map. Going back into the early pressure on the seaside. There'll be like three Uriga. seconds left. He has to stay alive and he'll like go forward to be like, oh, that dude, that forward is like 15 seconds or something. <laughs> it's like, what? From the seaside <laughs> what's going on? He's so adamant that he had to play, 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 play with digital vibrance. They're going to avoid that right away. Seeker's out. And the Seeker's out to push towards the A site. But all this spam of the Odin gives so much time here for Kested to rotate across towards A with the showstopper ready. That reopens the door, but Shai okay. just died towards B. An opening, an opportunity for crew to move inside B for the plot. At least MW0 dies from the showstopper. He trying to walk forward. Khalil is oh trying gosh. to watch that angle. And thank I mean, Khalil secures the round though, right? There's still some players alive, but playing quite passively here. There's a potential crossbar setup of Furia. Out towards this A site. Khalil will be first contact. Kezin and Heat together. The Odin spray connects up to Conan. Melzer gets the kill. The trade from Kezin now, and the disadvantage is on to Fudia. Back to the IGL and an LMS against Kezin. Gets the shot as well. And will manage to salvage around for food. Oh, they reset That's the money. Big. That's game point for, for crew if they grab it. Yeah, and they do reset the money. It's definitely the still on. Shoulders. IGL fragging. <laughs> it's not, <laughs> it's not convincing, but it's still on. For the IGL here from Furia. And this play. And it was uh, strength as a team for Furia, right? They still do a bit of the A play. They don't worry about pillars. Baby door, breakable rather, is the answer. They flood through, they get the site as a team, and they're not trying to do kind of a, a two util trick game, or not trick, but- That's the early time out from them. Uh, people flash and then trade or do this. Everyone back each other up there. That was hard for me to say, sorry. All right, <laughs> 11 to five now in this one. Crew's gonna call the timeout. They realize a bit of momentum's there for Furia, but there needs to be a discussion apparently just what coach is seeing, how they can reset, and what they need to do to make sure Furia doesn't get any more here. Maybe on this one, since it's crew on a little buy, yeah, it is. Yeah. But for these further rounds, they should have the ultimates up, especially heats. If, any, if anything, on the uh, last round, crew had perfect reads on everything until there was a slight over-rotate from Shy. Yeah. That was going to try to support towards the A side at the staircase, but you can definitely see that Furia, despite them trailing so far behind, the game plan is still there. Force these rotate outs of these positions and faking these parts from C to A. Going back through that breakable door, catching players off the rotate. Okay, they buy a hero gun into this one. Plan as well to continue that type of pressure. 
And who potentially now calls a timeout to answer onto this. The digital won't be this round though, because they're on a Here. thrifty buy, the strongest weapon being a guardian in the hands of Kesdin. Sometimes that's actually good enough. In the hands of crew, and as I say that, the wall. Hey, yeah, well, there's the a hero gun, man, just to How get them a kill. Happen? And we get that weird situation that you hate to see on Ecos where there's a gun down, and it's like, do you protect it or do you leave it? He, they decide to leave it, especially with the spike the down, so they pick up another gun. But as he's running back, and he throws them the, the he throws them the spike, and then he, I mean, oh, he hears so many. So and because he hears yeah. so many, they're gonna go aggro. Then Melsa like maybe can get a kill. Exactly. This person is also on the fastest That's flank ever. Lovely kill from Melsa. And how many did he get here? And so far has a good timing. He needs Should to get at least two. Klaus, and he'll get info for the other two players that they're scaling back towards heaven. Oh, he's going for a walk. Little walk in the park. There's that yeah, it's a shame that everyone went heaven. We well, got his two. Out from yeah. the paranoia being thrown on the attack from Khalil. Where crew surprise on that first blood might be the only positive thing to get out of this round. Furia looks pretty good to close out this round. Although labored once again, he getting two kills out of that escapes with. A Vandal and a Night Ball for the next round. That's a yeah, lovely luck. Still gets the round no matter oh, a little bit close. Six? That, no. uh, that luck was everything. Side of Furia. We did see, we talked about it on their defensive side, that they didn't really have map control to start the extremities. They don't have the C's nade. They don't have a lot of things that would make crew care as attackers. But now that's Furia so gets to play mad. their own so that's how that goes down. utility where they prioritize and they are able just to full body spamming him based on how three times the in a map. row the shots are coming in the site it's been two very different halves in the sense that crew had absolute firepower to win their rounds furia is playing that organized game of strategy right now and finding the fights in sight and trading each other here towards a still have a lurk towards pillars this is a big push from mel and crew going for a heavy shutdown of this four people fatal hits Three. That nightfall on the defense gets yeah, and so that's much just a straight up body shot yeah. with the minus of 80 decay. Deafened. Lovely so trade back. And this guy still has Omen Flash. Flash. He got an Omen Flash of Seekers. And is trying to find a backstab. Seekers getting info on two players towards B's being watched now. He catches, catches, catches it off guard. Keep an eye on the Omen push the whole time. Killjoy's been attack, away from the utils, the alarm bot's off. He did great to get one. Yeah, and now the push behind doesn't matter too much, and he could spam the ult if he wants to. Looks like they're gonna respect it. Trades after losing a couple of players. Dude, some of these rounds have been initiated here for Furia, so that's gonna run the clock down off that spike. They're not the norm. Nelzer will have to try to open the door, try to keep the players at bay when we'll be able to throw the paranoia, push them back towards A site, where MWZ are just one against Melzer and Nelzer. Nice, dude, every single round out of like the past, what, three round rounds have been very close, but Kru, uh, but Furia just fine still. Yeah. <laughs> These can't go on much longer, it feels like. These aren't convincing Furia. rounds. The 5v4 conversion on that too. I believe it was Klaus that opened up the round for us and then Furia yeah, still cool, yeah. able to get in, get the lockdown plant. And yeah, that pushback gives him just enough time to set up. Nasr is well on one right now. 21 and 12 has not slowed down. Last time we checked in, it was 17 frags. So just collecting heads right now. As they go towards C, Furia feeling the momentum right now, and they're going to keep pressuring this. Oh, Shot. my, Melzer again with the Sheriff just doesn't stop. Well, wow, this Boombot is on a mission. He's able to TP away, so you'll take that for one Sheriff shot, one body, and an important piece of util on the attack for Furia. So you do have this eco. Hero rifle for heat. Placing swamp grenade. With this Vandal. My God. Pain shells oh, pushing it back away. He eats. The majority of that damage. Okay, yeah. hey, this round is looking hard. I know they have the molly. Uh, sorry, I know they have the gun advantage, but. Furia now moving towards the A site because he's lost control and Killjoy or Klaus one away from a Viper. Melzer. It has done so much for the team already this round. Any blast packing in is now All people in the outskirts of A. Tentative. Furia walks up now. Oh, the person they might kill here is Shine. This slew of sheriffs could be that's hiding on the other side. 
a lockdown? Oh, they feel like they might be too close after that goes down. If the, if they use the lockdown early here, they might still be able to use they're going to go B. Just make sure they don't get the pressure from the staircase and an instant tree comes out. Heat again still has his vandal and Kesdin. Oh, they know they're going to plant the, the tree. Waiting for a slow to happen from the B site. As he escaped though, Conan's able to get the head. No plant. 15 seconds. Oh man. Dog coming out on the attack. He could not connect. Ever could be good to allow his teammates to get kills here though. All that. Yeah, nicely done. Holy hell, they didn't they didn't plant when the kill joy went down. Furia has just been on the edge. They missed their, they missed their chance to plant here. Of these rounds, staving it off, right. staving Five chances to finish this one. Retakes. And again, the rounds, the rounds before just weren't convincing. You could kind of see so that this close. is going to happen. And Melzer, this, this opener on the round. You, you saw how slow Furia played after it. Oh. Came down to the post plant. And yeah, Kesnit saying, we got this. We calm down. We're good. <laughs> Combat had the read. No one, had, nobody was on B. Had a chance to even wall bang late down to <laughs> prevent the spike from getting planted. Melzer trying to push even more forward in round number twenty. Oh my God! Gets stopped now by a boom button. And really, it's only him with the one-way smoke doing so much work anchoring the seaside. That was insane. So push back towards front B. There's three players from Cruvisa waiting right there for Furia. A w power with the prime thank you so much man thank you for the 30 months appreciate well, it tough thing, eh? <laughs> i don't know the, the sky man, they right? really cool me off mound. let's just go over that as they slowly take this they're having trouble taking mound there with that one way just you can sky bird over but it doesn't tell you how many are there if you haunt over you might be able to get a ping you might be able to play off a little more with a prowler follow is it the util game seems like it's just not working for fury even though sky works right it's yeah. not a problem in the composition but it does not seem like it's giving them the space that they need right now. Especially losing members in the beginning. Crew opening up with more first bloods. And just making it so hard for Furia to put something together. They smoked out the turret at least left. to really be able to get into the site. Forcing the players of Kuvisa to fall back and play the retake. And they retake with the showstopper first. It connects um, right at the entrance, fully blinded. Yeah, I mean though, convincing. Really was. A dominating map, no matter what, for Gru Giza for the first map. Furia showing some life on that second half, coming out of the pistol that they needed so much, but Crew still with the firepower. Kesnit on top, 23 and 16, seven first bloods. But behind that, Klaus, six first bloods. Klaus on that lurk, but also the front of the strats. A lot of the times when they were taking rubble control, incredible stuff across the board as crew put this squad together and are already seeing results definitely seeing results to start things off but haven't seen it yet there for Furia. they may have a chance to bring it back on that yeah, second map yeah. but it's not their map pick so they'll still have to keep guessing they'll still have to try to keep fighting yeah that was their map pick after the break i hope um i hope icebox looks better yeah i saw that early in the walkout um Maple. It's also a Monday, it doesn't help. Look what I've just made. Okay, chat, can spam some ads. I'll be back in a little bit. Not too bad, but check this Wait, out. did I never upload the GE DRX games? Whoa, Oops. A true Venus clam. Red Bull gives you wings. Oh, GE DRX games are up if people want to watch it. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, I'll be back in a little bit. Hey guys, it's Jimmy Lin. In this series, I'm gonna walk you through attack on Pearl. Watch out for the stairs, clear this angle. You're gonna be able to fight this.
tiene que concretar el plantado, uh, pero Angelo Boy no lo deja. Uh, es la doble para Deus. Informação do Niaz que estava sem ter mano, tá imitável, deu a volta, na ultimate! All right, joining right now we have Adam, the head coach of Crew. Now, that that first map was freaking phenomenal. Uh, Crew had an amazing uh, just uh, display, a performance there. Uh, I'm curious to know, since that was Furious pick, now we're going on to Icebox. So what can we look forward to? What are the confidence levels of the guys? I think that uh, the guys are really happy playing Icebox because I think we build a nasty comp. So they like a lot of, of to get themselves into a situation where they can fight, where they can just go and, and, and take their shots and, and have fights with the rival. And our Icebox comp, I think it's, it's especially for that. So I think that the team is really confident and really happy to, to be able to play, to play Icebox today. Awesome, can't wait to see it. Curry Sports start their stage off with a win, 13 to seven on Lotus, but you just heard Coach Adam. I'm fascinated I, to know what, so, they're, what they're cooking. I know, but I'm so happy to finally see a Coach Adam interview after they've won. There's so many times, <laughs> man, it was a 13-11 loss. It was so close, the boys really put our, and we, we finally did it. Crew come out on their debut and they look great. They had a great understanding of how they wanted to play around that map. Yeah. I think they integrated heat on into the initiator really well yep. and they dominated Furia. Yeah, and it was exactly the sort of things that we know that crew is good at and they did every single one of them, right? Win yeah. conditions all around, insert Shy, insert Kesna, be able to pivot around the map and has it fried right off the rip. I mean, that's exactly what I kind of hoped for from this team coming yeah. into this game was domination in moments like this. I don't even know what happened in this round. I He's like chilling it. over in Maine, yeah. getting these kills to like through a wall. But I want to. The like, first two kills, like, just, what, what okay. happens here? He's just spraying this guy. Going, One. Where's what? the it, second it through round? The wall it was through the CT, wall. I think. <laughs> I've never seen that before. He just has a picture. Yeah, all according to plan, Kismet obviously knew he was going to be getting the collab there. Yeah, obviously calculated through and through. I'm worried I'm worried for this next map. Just continuing to display why he has been a worried for Fury. Why crew have invested so many resources into this guy. Upside Dell, thank you so much, man, with the prime. Thank you for the three months. We had some of those rounds you were talking about, Arten, where they are kind of entrenched. Crew won 16 to four for first bloods. Yeah. Yeah, dude, you could feel it, right? One. But we also got a lot more standard rounds where they're going for fast. Just, around them. I swear, I the first six rounds they were just walking out, with free those, map like, control, and they just one tapped someone. One. And I think that's kind of a testament to the IGLing, to the system of crew yeah. really starting to click. Yeah, and I think the thing that I was worried about is that second half kind of slipped a little bit. Sure. But the thing is, the firepower was enough. Was uh, was enough for them to get like rounds off of sheriffs, and it also is defense Lotus. You kind of of course expect but, that to happen. But like it was, uh, I don't know. That that needs to be a little bit more clean. And I think it was. It, it's going to get there, especially with Adam saying, "Oh, icebox is going to be great for us. We have something cooked." I, I don't know. That, that was a little worrying. Though. Yeah, yeah. I, hey, you know what? Uh, fair Fear point, get right? anti shotted a little bit. Well. Um, the only <laughs> one that gave me like a full like, sense oh, of it no, was the man. pistol <laughs> stack. But thankfully, all is well, at least for the crew camp here. Was it three or four person pistol stack over towards B? I'm gonna, gonna draw some that, that one gave me some vibes of it, especially this one with the dog. But really, this is just a, a very classic. They didn't. The things they didn't round. push with the four. Like that's why I felt weird. And it starts with an early play up front B. Yeah, they might have so had some reads. I don't know if they've been. Players come, escort Kesnet, I don't know if they played each other in practice before the actual teams got announced or who they're playing. And they do a couple of interesting things here. First of all, you might wonder why Shy steps into front B here. I didn't mean to pause that. Hold on now. Let's fast forward. Shy sits right there, and if you check out, he actually has a nano swarm lineup that's gonna end up landing back rubble on this one as they come in here with a paranoia with a prowler to <laughs> why that is this frozen time you're going to be leaving kesnet on that island over in front b so they speed up into this round and as they're leaving kesnet here who has an ultimate for an option to hit into the site the plan is always to break that door on baby if it is closed and threaten going into the site now from this position as they sort of force that raise away there's two main options that fury Do i need to start the video the or? option one fight heavy through baby door as they're trying to push up here in which case Kesnet is going to swing out into the site and backstab those players the other main option they could have would be to push into main except then Kesnet is going to get that kill so furia without any pressure in front take the other option which is play mega passive all the way back on site which gives crew a pretty easy way into the site as they come through Kesnet finds a kill because there's no smoke on main the spike gets dropped and it's a little bit of a mess but because crew sees so many bodies 
You forgot about that guy that set up that lineup that long ago. He was front B, <laughs> went all the way back away from the rest of the team. And while they see four players on site and Shai has not actually found a player on A, they call that spike that teleported into site and died all the way back into that A site for the plants. At the same time, Kesnet is just killing literally everybody. It is the most Surely production would have changed to a different picture though by now. Anywhere off the back of Kesnet and Shai. It. You're taking I, it? I have something more important. What if I'm not done drawing? No, you're oh, done no. drawing. I have, yeah, not... I have something more important to talk. Can we talk about yeah, like how? Five clips loaded up. Okay, so Shy was in that. Can we talk about how he plays? Look at the. Where's the pen? <laughs> There's no pen. Use <laughs> your finger. How does this work? It's I'm finger not... painting, Mimi. Okay. We're children, bro. We're children. Look, okay. Can we talk about? So this is when he's passive, and then once this guy okay. activates. We'll restart the clip. Mimi, you're not very good He's, at this. I'm figuring it out. Look how close he is to the That's monitor. very close. Have we ever seen a play? That is, Martin? that is, I mean, no, don't do that. I mean, you're gonna, do, didn't you learn from the eclipse? You're gonna destroy <laughs> your eyes. Wait, what do you think that is? Is that like two inches? Is that, is that one inch? That is too close. That's what that is. It's not, That's it's not a large distance. I don't distance. think he can even see the mini that map a, from that. That is bad eyes when you're even 40. Further. <laughs> When he needs to go look at the minimap, he backs up. I'm telling you, he didn't see the timer in that other round. He's like, he's there is no way Bro can see the timer the on that it's round when they're oh close B. So Forty-three years old is gonna he's have too focused on his cross yeah. can't wait. It's he will, but for now he's dialed in and he's farming. For now he's in there it's and working. it's working out for them. All right, guys. Well, let's go ahead and see where we're taking a trip to next in this series. Reminder: What have you got, us, Crew is up right now, one to zero in this series with that thirteen to seven dub. Did I see the Kang Kang mini map? Yeah, I remember talking about it. And I want to bring it back over to Geek it's Heavy's interview with unreal. Coach Adam. Because Coach Adam said that they were cooking stuff on Icebox. I want to know what this... All I'm going to say is, if it's like what happened yesterday or two days ago, and you were like, Why oh, is it Visa? I mean, it's sponsor thing, I guess. Just be the same thing. I wonder if that's I'll a common trend point. we'll I'm start seeing Jeremy happening, but... You want me to just invent some leaks right now? Why you go ahead and it Oh, I mean, leaks. I know for sure, for a fact, they're playing Triple Smokes. Yeah, so they took what Loud were doing on Vine last year and they applied it to Icebox. The theory being more smokes, less vision. Yes. Mm. More smokes, how could they possibly more like, shoot you? Yeah. Enjoyment. So that's yeah. the leak. Yeah, that's... What did you hear? Uh, Over the street for you. The street? I mean, I already gave my theory. What did I hear, though? Mm. There's going to be a deadlock. There's okay. going to be a clove. Uh, uh, not what? enabled. <laughs> Can't pick them. Listen here. <laughs> I heard ISO. No. All right, now we know you're joking. Out there. I heard it. Uh, too, far, too far. You, I too forgot far. about ISO. Yeah, Are we sure on. ISO's enabled? Are we sure? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> but I actually forgot ISO was in the game. <laughs> no. Well, yeah, you know. You don't I mean, even see him in ranked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, I'm, I mean, I'm glad for that. Well, I'm remember, sorry for you. I remember <laughs> seeing him in ranked. Oh, my oh, yeah, Gabriel, right, I remember let's that. Let's see this comp. This is not super surprising. A lot of teams are playing this Gecko KO. It's a really a proven comp at this but point. But with the yeah, ultimate, Omen, G2, yeah. yeah. Yeah, which which I'm actually a fan of. I think Omen can work in sort of like sure. a semi jet That's slot. That's the really M80 comp? Up oh. Top, mid. Oh. oh, boy. I'm actually okay, not bothered by that. Okay. Kind of right. I actually right. think this is kind of sick. You have a lot Wait, that's of kind of nice as well. Here between the Reyna and the KO flashes and also I don't know how they plant too well, well but... No, no, no. So I'm no, all, no. These, I'm all these for rough. flash combos. I think they indexed too heavily into it because they're already playing KO and Gecko and they're losing verticality. I think Jet's ability to updraft oh. in B main especially yeah, is this, way more valuable. This Fury comp, comp is, uh... Kesson is gonna run around the map. He's gonna kill them all. I think KO is good in ranked. He's nah, like most right, majority of people suck with KO, man. I would say that, like, 99% of people that play KO in ranked should just be locking in a Phoenix or something. There's 1% of people that are alright with KO and make it work because of, like, lineups and stuff. Yeah, I love this season, Marina. We saw it already before. Yeah. With Aspas playing earlier on against 100 Thieves. Yeah, I'm down to see what they're good for this. Do you reckon they just, uh... Reckon they just have similar stuff to M80, I guess? Never. It's about to be playground time. The jungle gym's getting broken out. And yeah, the flashes are going to be immense in this one. The eclipse continues into this game, apparently. Uh, hide your eyes. As we get into Icebox ice Harbor Pure killed with the sky nerfs. Yeah, pretty much. It lost. Um, it's still they viable, but it lost like in on this one. It lost the easy the map control. Works out for them. Will they get the lurks? Will they can continue to push up and try to take space? And I still think it's okay game. with like yeah, a gecko, yeah, but it started on Lotus. I think you bring up a great point. Will they be able to get that space? Chrissy on the desk. You can do a similar thing, but a lot of time you're like, the you till can get lost. Jet could have. I, agree with I think, that. uh, At the same time, I don't mind it with a, uh, I don't mind it with a gecko of some lineups of your disease. Also playing single controller being that, uh, Viper. 
Yeah. Which then means sometimes with that arena we saw from Leviathan, it was a lot of flashes that came through, a double controller set up, oh. and now that you have to use it's this. It's never on, done that. At least like a conditioning. Uh, my PC now yours. Okay, space, but crew on defense. On that second half. Fear on attack. Visa will take the attack. They start off on defense where Furia is now getting pressured at the A main. Furia C. Is Jill standard nine person jewel over the towards A? Maybe they start flying cross overhead. Also true. <laughs> Little Tarzan esque form here. He would have missed that if it was Jet. True. <laughs> true. Okay, let's focus on Fury for there. this because yeah. I like but their comp a lot. A Honestly, I kind of like Cruz comp as well. Will you not move into the mid -round? I think the Reina has, uh, I mean, one of the better Reina maps. That's, that's the easier way to say it. They're rotating outside this A site to B. Avoiding a knife is a huge knife goes too, in, they, they dodge it, it. they side. take the turret back, and then everyone re swings in. Klaus walked up. There's a first contact. One by Furia. Yeah, look at this, man. Two that was sick from Fury. Knee side is up for grabs on the attack now for Furia. Jump. Yowzer. Quick plant. Not much at screens that Mauser can do other than hope for a push through. And pushing out Why does everyone recently look better on the other really the other, the other team's one. map pick? Entering A, but also waiting for crew to at least throw the zero the, the KO knife somewhere. Yeah. Make sure they hear it. Once they did, that was the cue to move. Exactly. Crew's gonna make sure they have mid exactly guarded that. throughout this. It doesn't look like if you breeze, you've seen enough. Much, focus Maybe if they have some of the M80 stuff and it's as good as people are saying, then get that hit, dismiss out of sight, play right. a little maybe in the opponent's face when you get the chance to. As they kind of mix up the strat to start on entrance is in here. Back to more of a here if you right mean then, no. the clock ticks over into game time. Or you might be able to do something here, but... on Klaus. Get Thrash up as much as possible. Thrash especially can cover so much space on A site, right? B, or you, you just talking about him. Back and not leave it because it's hard to chase the detains if it does go down towards long. But yeah, such a good ultimate to have here. So good focus if they can get that, and we'll see if Furia tries to prevent it. Furia, they, I think they need to start this one off strong, especially with the way the last map went. Take and it goes in, hits two, and with that crew. info, they're just going to start making and way over towards B. Yes, they are. More of the strategy, right? Knowing crews and I just hit too many people for their liking. Most people stack together. these days Not with the classics. Of here, especially on the save for eco of crew. And it's B Defender and just say, oh, this one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You mentioned they had to come out strong for Furia, and they also have to play confidently. They're playing it cautiously. Head knife information on the A side, realizing Kesna was there. Everybody pivot towards B. It's an open site for plant. The only defender was Melzer towards the window mm -hmm. of kitchen. Really just then, they had a lot of focus and a lot of people around that area of under two, boiler, and A site, so they can maybe pinch around lurks. But at this point, let me see it. Crew Visa looking to potentially just die to spike. Yeah, it doesn't look like they want to overstep him. Well, Havoc potentially could be the one moving up the chase. Yeah, I was just going to say, almost on that alt already as the geckos are both farming. Go get. One more. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's tough. The blind fight. Who comes out on top? A little bit of a denial there. Shy gets Rob, I mean, I really hope I this is down. no armor rebuy. I'm just going to circle them just in case. One, one gun rebuy. The gun they lost was a uh, phantom. Gun they lost was the pistol. Over there this is nice. So this is a great bonus at the moment. If you're in a good spot to, to guardians, eventually. So what does crew do for the really defense? snowball? Push down tube already. Coming in for Kuznet. Oh, this is gonna be weird. They're gonna push for a tube and two people going aggro middle. We omen TPing up here. Zero point right we omen TPing somewhere. Yeah, it's definitely looking towards B to start. You hear something being thrown out, and there yeah. it is. It'll connect onto two. Cover and that's both out. initiators, which then forces the hand. Oh, the timing. Because they're looking for timing at the bottom of two. Throws out a Leer. Here's a TP on the other end. The orb comes down. <laughs> and there's a peak attempt from Klaus, just jiggling across while Melzer is closing yeah, again. Nicely done from Melzer, so that kind of means that they have full um, advantage for crew. Over over towards B. Melzer here in the spike getting dropped. Wall coming down. So Furia now has the spike the and then reset. go back with the spike because the killjoy starts to make a lot of pressure over towards A. Oops, that wasn't meant to go there. 
He's not going to push further than that, though. Just puts the alarm bot down, yeah. controls the front side of Maze, and waiting for his teammates to move in for a rotate and a plant. Poison's off. Not giving it to Havoc either. Havoc is going to be lurking around, so there's not going to be a thrash this time around either on the attack. Lear being thrown out on a defense from Crew, looking to push aggressively, although Melzer just got caught reloading. And now they go back again. Does this guy hear them? Khalil yeah. Was over towards a to get the utility House was close down, enough to hear them. Rotate in goes in. Killjoy confirms it with a swing over to towards A. On the rotation too, just a little late on that mid. And... Oh boy, now what? How do they plan this one? That stun might come in as well. And the molly on top. Wingman being thrown out. Ten seconds left. Trying to find a timing to get the spike. Prevent the spike from being planted. Oh, what a savior kill. Kind of doable, by the way. Kind of doable. Only a bulldog. Lovely shots. Nice, uh, nice util from Heat as well. Yeah. The initiator arc for heat is looking good. Come away with two Util's good. Kill's been good. Nice recoup there by crew. Actually biting pretty hard that it was towards the A side. A shout out to played. was this Klaus as well that was close to get all the info, I think it was. And they're still able to find the kills. Swarming back into sight. Three coming up there for heat. That's gotta feel good. This comp with like Clove really, uh, is in this one? Free. Yeah. <laughs> Right I would try, I would pretty much try good. something like this with Clove. You heard the team talking to, uh, just think being able to heavy commit over towards sites here they, and they here and no, here and just anywhere on site, but still smoke it is going to be so good. It's working. It's Might actually working. be the best map. More than Sunset was. Now Havoc, although got a pick on that lurk before, had the thrash, but... Decide to work it together with Fury. The Omen does have that extra element of the Duelist, though, but... Melzer sees the tail, so avoids it. Meanwhile, there's an exchange happening towards Boiler. He's on nice. taken by the attack side up towards the kitchen. He couldn't connect his shot. needs to get two. Elza needs to get everyone. Yeah, they all died. MW0 killed everyone. Yeah, that was fast as well. And the actual mid push laid up. Yeah, that... It was like known that they would find fights right at the beginning. I mean, yeah, the way Cruz is playing it's aggressive but to oh that's that second kill absolutely crazy and furia bringing a bit of heat now over to the side of crew with the way that they're making these plays it looks like the way the crew is trying to attack on lotus here now as furia hits attack on icebox still staying back zero point heard to the left side so you will get furia to encroach a little towards a and they have all the push watch now they can wait and spawn and wait for this to come from mid Come from B. Really wary of somebody getting on that flank. Yeah. It's just a repetition of the last time they played the anti eco, holding out towards the spawn, using the KO util to find the info. Meanwhile, though, Great flash. they're still committing towards this A site, even when Nosworth got dinged for 145 by the sheriff. Wow, I'm telling you, heat you till so far. There's a late lurk happening on the it's other so end, good. so Furia has to pick up the pace, pushing out towards the back side of the A site. Shares are answering 5 HP, 41 HP. Nosworth's alone now with that 5 HP we're mentioning. And heat is looking great. And playing it safe like, at the really, really still good. Walk in the stack of the A site from Crew Visa. And Furia just got drifted. Heat with another 3k. Yeah, kill one. You know, uh, flashing that enabled the first kill as well. It's going to be coming through. A thrifty there for a crew is Furio. They were hitting so hard, confident on these strats. Uh, waited for the push, the the knife on the left side. It seemed like everything was just going to be uh, an easy low buy round that they would be able to push into. And these sheriffs doing so much work. The one tag, before, I can't remember who went down, but tore back towards Dice. Absolutely incredible play from the defensive side of crew. We get back into it. Three ultimates ready for crew now as they can start to fold these rounds Where's the money right at? over. And this is going to be a tough fight for Furia on the next one if they lose this. A few tags, not worried about it. I'm actually even staying outside the radius. And crew yep. instantly rotates from mid to B. 
Old Possum, is this another good care flash? Oh, nice flash. way around this time. Nice flash from uh, Nozo. Bro, MWZ is getting two every single round. Back to back to back. Man, these KO flashes, dude. That evens up the talent on a 3 3. What's going on? Got another one? Two alts available for crew as Kezin activated his Empress. The Reina ult rotating back towards A and as the Kezin starting to look like a must have. There's a shy util as a killjoy. This is wild for Fury. It makes sense when you kind of have the the no Sova and you need to clear with like bodies sometimes. Another one? They continue to just outflash Fury as they retake B. Now it's got to be a retake on A. And they pulled out the Null command off Nosworth's plant. But there's the lurk. Do they expect? Coming in from behind, Khalil was too far from that Killjoy turret and the alarm bot. This guy needs this to make sound. So Kesnet is just trying to play patient in the back. Easy kill oh for boy. Heat because of the pulse coming out on an old command of Nosworth. A 1v1 remaining. A drop for the top. I see done from Kalil. 1v2, 5 HP. And wow. That's a big pickup. What are we Fury saying? Up. The money is here is like five. There's two people that are on Ultimate the edge of Khalil being able to buy. Off what looked like actually was gonna be a scrappy fight that allowed Are they really to gonna win, give it up? Looks no. like it. The reposition after this snuff at B was correct for Furia. And you see the prop class protocol they have there. And then Klaus. Klaus just got angled an unfortunate dizzy hat. Ooh, five HP left though off that duel. Yeah. Uh, Isaac, thank you, thank you for doing the gifted. Margins, thank you very much, man, for doing that. Appreciate it. Different nice though. Yeah, ditto? There we go. Right Ditto's already said thank you. Nice you done, Ditto. Thank you very much, Isaac. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. A lot of information, yet they're not... Next round, or potentially this round, a lot of ults for the defense. Attack, Killjoy, ult. And here comes the heavy rotate again. We're seeing a lot of over rotates, but it hasn't really cost them too much. Weird omen. And it looks like crew's ready at snowmen. Yeah, a lot of people here. What's the spam like? Omen TP, top of sight, covered by the wall. He gets another double kill. Does hand deliver them a gun, but I think it's okay. Damage has been done, you would imagine. It's up to Shy and Melzer to make it expensive. Trading off for weapons, two vandals now. Century. Leaving a turret passively. So it looks like the decision will be to fall back and save instead of doing that econ damage back against Furia. Yeah, a nice hit. Who'd say the best KO Gecko players at the moment? I mean, KO is probably like Nismo is always going to be up there in terms of if you want to copy flashes. Like Nismo is probably one of the best KOs I've seen. Gecko? Gecko is pretty open. Narrate? Maybe? I would say, <laughs> I mean, something does mad stuff, but I wouldn't copy it. Crew with a timeout. Got no command, the KO ultimate. Nah, see, well Sassy's been looking Rash. good. We were saying before, super effective on the A retake. Can still use it for B. It's a little bit harder to get the results of following up on that if you can grab somebody. So, crew can play this one slow. Cracks as well for KO. Yeah, yeah cracks, space, Nismo. That's always a Ethan's flashes are decent. Yeah. Well, right now, when Adam had the conversation with Geek Heavy, mentioned that he's super excited seeing this crew line up in the air. Mm -hmm. They built this composition to be in situations where they could always fight back we haven't really had that opportunity yet right because you have great entries from mw zero switching out into an omen here to get these entries yeah i think it's a good point especially that you make what's uh what's mw zero on right now it feels like he yellow. must be fragging very heavy 12 to 4 
But once those flashes Bob were the full, playing the omen like a duelist, and yeah, a, he's, it's kind of so nice for him because it's like a duelist right? that has a lot of freedom. The rest of your, the rest of your team like, can always get over like towards sites. So you don't have to go for a T for anywhere. You have the, like you have the wall and you have the smoke anyway, so you can just take risks. Got your own smoke if you want to make plays. It's a nice agent, someone like him. A two two one or two one two I should say to start us. And, and I guess a yeah, nice map for it. So no knife and for Again, the change up for crew. They go super Real aggro, no free no pass and push over so towards B. Some sort of warning towards W zero causing a bit of havoc two. towards middle. And all of Fudia now grouping together to work towards the just hear all of this running. Wow, okay, breaking one turret forces crew to fall back. Yeah, it looks like at it, because this is a heavy speed up. And look at that util. Well. Molly, triple Molly. Well, quad so Molly, I guess. You'll play patiently and wait for the rotate to happen. Yeah, and he's buying a lot of time with this. Delay, little chip Dude, damage. They've used all of their util to get over towards a site. So I guess they didn't hear that as many numbers as I thought they would have. The screen. Spike just went down. Hey, all official. Everyone has so to fight on site. Everyone's getting off the site because of the. Uh... Whoa! It changed places. We get some information, but we still have a one for one in terms of situation. Beautiful trades oh, now. Man. Advantage for crew. Brain the diff. Trying to draw back in the site. Khalil trying to swing back towards the pipes in three places. Yeah, they just use. Do you not think they just use so many, so many mollies to, for to uh, play this far away? Come back for the defuse with that clean retake. Quick, calm, collected, really nice job there by Heat. Uh, honestly, Heat going across no different agents right now is using the util so well. Just I think right if you bat, use that many mollies, you gotta... To the, the spike, or if you're gonna play far back, you gotta position, have someone that goes around the world. Pressured. At that point, the only person in sight was him. And he's still able to defend for quite a long time and give that rotation the time needed. Everything's clicking right now as crew's trying to get these rounds back and take away Furious Cushion um, of two. Lost bonus, 1-9 oh, after, after this if crew lose. Bit of a nightmare, but it's actually not nine. too bad. It's only one person that would struggle to buy in terms of Melzer, and he we'll might be able to use his ult and have like a stinger or something. Knife goes over towards A, hits one, KO again, solo. One from last and literally this. the exact the same strap for crew. Free person yep. push. Raid goes in, do they expect the Viper close? Damn. Nice and down. Yeah, so many solo jewels. That spike down, the lurk denied. I didn't even see a Fury at timeout. timeout I mean, they, they changed the pacing a little bit. They changed their position. Bro, I had like recoil back as he got shot here. A little close to his monitor. Okay, like a jump scare. The defensive end. We gotta pull up the next page here over strat book. And crew has found at least one or two kills every time they continue someone on this long B. The one round they had a thrifty, they almost were able to take away from Furio. That ended at A. Still had that B push coming through. Yeah, There's a weird round to watch. Off guard, so. oh. Hey, they keep trying. You see it again here. So aggressive. Especially when it, Fury is not expecting it until the round is kind of panned out a little bit, yeah. right? They've made um, Prius is getting a bit too big for his boots, bro. Right Mid round. With 30 seconds left when the guy's going for it. To do at the start. Khalil now about to meet his maker. Dude, it's like when he ate the flash, he just from time out of the game. Like, yes, indeed, I agree Take with it. you. Even at that point, when we're talking about how yeah. that knife didn't come out towards that front B at the garage, sometimes usually when you throw that knife and people are trying to avoid from that radius on the attack side, that's usually when you start engaging and trying to scale up towards the B site. Right. So instead, they don't want to use a knife to let Fury know. That crew visa is actually walking in to play contact towards garage and, and now for red is hunting yeah. hunting for bell they have to adapt which is why yourself off timeout. all right i want to see the fake game i want to see all the fakes uh, coming out i, I get what you're saying now. you get a lurk up to just doesn't uh, under you would just get spammed back there's not as many places the that they try to get up and at least just get one uh shot could maybe the like, turret, and then see, up, there might be some legs in terms of being able to have plants similar to that where you can just spam and it is worth smoking yourself off make crew buy it 
and take like, the site. And I think it worked it in feels, um, three or something, I'm not mistaken, when you have it's to definitely super busted on Sunset, but there might be other positions and maps that you just haven't thought of about, but I do think it's instead, just like, it just works so well on Sunset because the, you have more angles works. you can be than them. Uh, on, on the board for they're, they're always in like a square in front of then. the spike as well. So maybe it's reverting back to those, maybe reverting back to mid control too, because you're definitely seeing that the pressure that crew's currently bringing out is to fight towards the extremities once again, not too much towards A, just grab or fall back, but seen and really fight here towards the uh, the b side okay, it kind of okay, good time out from fury the, because the this is back to back rounds the where they did the same strat and they i mean it worked is that you have so, to at least in terms of crew as well they changed this one up once. going back to maybe, maybe hit the window maybe aggro middle maybe passives up, looking like the full force of that early info in terms of the alarm box so they can stack heavy middle or keep fighting middle whatever they want to do knife goes in hits three quickly taking the space with their own flashes to make sure there is no push and this should be another orb grab. That's Thrash for Havoc. Bada boom. And now this mid push will wait for the Lurk. So yeah. they do have this watch. Kudu didn't care to get hit by that knife. They just wanted to run across with the lower buy that they have. Doing the same type of Pretty flash. Cool. TP across. Nana Storm was set up there. Try to get a plant down. Oh, actually, Ooh. engaging with the thrash. Yeah, Molly's well. go in. Back towards orange information. <laughs> oh my god. Zero couldn't get the TP. They got denied there. Double flank. They're making a lot of sound over towards side as well. Yeah, this is kind of nice. Nice late pinch. Oh, this guy is out in the open. Everyone is everywhere. There's so many jewels. Also, can definitely win this round. Massive jewel when the smoke goes down. One. Nels are watching that flank and rotating across, winning that one against Conan. They have two walls to work with, two. Not need it yet, spike as Shy beat. just dropped the spike carrier. 30 seconds left. Oh, Melzer. Was waited and greeted. Sixth sense. Now potentially Could kill Joe back his sight, right? Use. It's a one for one. Last player standing. Now he. For him to decide if he wants to swing out, he does so. Now play the time. Underhand flash throw, 10 seconds left on the clock. Here's a run for from Khalil. Left. Tap on the spike, turns around. Um, yes! He did it twice. Did it in kitchen, Laser did it here as well. Nice Khalil shots from Fury. That's a very nice man. Khalil did great. Where he had to reset his crosshair position. One towards kitchen, the last one on to heat. As he almost got game of cat and mouse there. What an awesome round from... Oh. To the wall? Okay. The suspense. <laughs> yeah, what a raw, awesome, awesome round there. Khalil laying him low with the Guardians. Gonna obviously upgrade from that, but that is big for Furia. It seemed like Crew was able to get under their skin for a few rounds and get this early pressure, get the shutdowns. Knife goes so in Furia over towards B. I think it hits. B right Ooh. away to start that off, and it paid off for round number ten. Now into eleven, six to four here. Looks like we're almost gonna get. And right even there. all half with the amount of ultimates crew has to throw and back. maybe Melzer wants to do his get in all over towards top side. Oh man, he takes a peek. Worried for him. Oh, just the timing. Havoc gets over, but is it for free? The auto queue no. was there, but Kesner was still waiting for a pipe's peak. Havoc wins that fight. Weakens down the A side too, especially after that shot from Conan. Pit coming out on the defense though. Paranoia keeping them at bay. Just to have the wingman plant towards the A site for default. And now we're comfortable playing this on the Pulse Planters. One Nana Swarm, one snake bite available. They can play outside towards I mean, the Shy probably spams back Nana left, swarm. right? They should know that all and that it has a gap here. Popped. Nobody's watching it there, so they're just gonna use Damn, he's to crouching. I mean they did spam it, he was just crouching and went for headshot. Yeah, nothing really to. It's still very nice. I mean, it is attack sided, so it's not like this is out of out of reach. Really nice crew. fast play but five would be great. Kills they were able to get those two, I should say. Fury was able to get right away, stopped crew from wanting to use that lockdown to get back in. That could have helped. So nice, quick plant. Havoc to open it up too. <laughs> Just you don't expect the gecko to be the one going over on the rope to go for the first blood, but you know what? Expect the unexpected right now. His fury has got to pull out all the stop, the stops to get by these flashes and even in front of them before they're thrown. I guess that would be behind them. Uh, seven to five, possibly, if they can get the lockdown 
And the Reina ultimate to pay off from Cruz's side, hit one. but you're also looking like Are they happy with that info? Fruit, Rotate in coming in. Space here and they might do it again at B. Cruz's in a good spot, yeah, when do they, when do they go they a little bit further over towards, towards A is the question. The support, so they have flashes on the other end if they need to fall back. And at yeah. the same time, though, the instant rotate from crew towards B. They hear the tap. They have a lockdown to even counter the other lockdown or use it as a retake instead. So they're okay for crew. Use all that util you want, Furia. We still have ours in our arsenal. Once you try to get this black down, that gets instantly denied. The Just wall up, what, but two smokes that you see now in the screens of NW Zero. Knife goes in, hit. hits too close, so they know the two will be fighting close. That is a great shot. Killjoy goes in, and looks like we're gonna wall. Khalil gets the flank again. Oh shit! Spotted by the alarm oh. was trying to just swing out and get the surprise. Molly that was being good. At the top of the kitchen. Oh. Will it blow up on time? It will. Oh man! No, actually, it looks like one just got the team. Yeah, that was it. Was one off, Khalil, one tick off. Nonetheless, at the top. It was in the middle though. Green, the tap on the spike. Dude, he it's mayhem at the moment. As that clock is ticking down. Hey, last Molly he used. Tapping on it, forced to stick it to at least bring it a half. Dance. And Furia have a great post okay. line hold. Eight of them, done. This comp is so nice as well. They won pistols as well though, right? So. Switching side. Yeah, Furia timeout. <laughs> really, really good for what it was able to bring back for them. I think they were giving, well, you have to respect the flash game, but they were giving too much respect to the flash game. The faster you move, the harder it is for those flashes to be in the right spot. The harder it is for crew to try to protocol flash you, where you get this instant pop flash and someone's peeking you. And just upping the tempo a little bit for Fury was able to solidify that. Yeah, just on the replay there, it did pop and then just got destroyed. So you yeah, had the two yeah. labels there. So it gave a chance for them to come back, but it didn't. Fury is able to do quite well to hold that pulse plan and have a great lead, at least to start things off, though. But with this comp, we'll see the Reyna, what they could do on the attack. But before we actually get to that half, let's throw it to Geek Heavy, who's standing by the co-streamer booth with Otsuka. Yo, what's going on? I'm here with Otsuka, content creator for Furia. Now, what did you think of that play on Icebox? How, how are you feeling right now about the team? Now I'm feeling a little bit, uh, a little much better. But uh, in the beginning, in the first map, they were playing a little bit scared. I don't know how to explain that, but this is the MIBR they were guy. To get too much info and not shooting back too much. You know, I think they forgot that it's just crew and they have the worst duels. It's just the crew. Franchise, so <laughs> it's got it. Gives it Those are big words. The worst duelist? Are you really you you saying that right now? Yeah, not only Americas, uh, our entire franchise, I guess. Wow. Th th those are, you know, those are fighting words, right? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> ah. Okay, well, I, I want to know, so what, what you think Fury is doing right now that they kind of just neglected to do on map one? They're literally fighting back. You know, Muzira is playing aggressively. He's fighting, he's using the TP to get kills, to go on top side and, and fight back and you know they have a lot of they, they have a uh, much crosshair so just shoot back bro we can win this yeah uh, okay so do you you probably thinking that this is going to push to a map three i'm assuming right yeah two one two one for fury obviously all right well you heard it here first so i'm going to toss things back over to rivington and van silly thank you so much geek heavy but also, always a blast to listen to Otsuka. <laughs> he did that. Uh, it's just crew. Here at the it, I like how I like this guy, though. That, when he did that comment about MIBR Portuguese, last time, it made the game, like, to 10 times out. more exciting. But moving into this game, yeah, I mean, I do agree with what Otsuka but was saying. We were mentioning it. He's doing a... Uh, he's is playing the villain. Some great fort position Sometimes it's good time, to have a villain. Great support from Nosworth. Yeah. Right, as as this KO to be able to flash and give that space. But I also like what Khalil's able to do so far, at least on that first half. Him not really IGLing for the team anymore as well, and he has now could focus on he his own. He plays judge only flash. <laughs> he really time, but we'll hold that thought a little bit later. <laughs> Dude just likes annoying half. people, man. That's sick. Have a couple of players now moving in towards Orb at the A site. And crew will have that duelist in Kaznitz Reina on this side. Unlike Furia. Playing a lot of contact into their sights. We'll see if they can get these flashes in. And they can get Kesnitz. He went on, he went on the top of the middle to. bit of pipes. Shai Got a nice opening towards the A site. They have to reset a little bit yeah. here for crew because they got hit by the zero point. The knife from Furia. They couldn't really bring out that wingman to go for a plant. 
But after they drop Khalil here, they see all this utility being placed. This is an opportunity to get a plant here towards top A. Here comes the fast flood. Omen flash in. Instantly we try to engage for the retake for Fudia. I mean, that is too much damage done from Kesna. Okay, a pistol each on this one. And the pistol goes in favor of crew. Just waltz in and take it, why don't you? Honestly, simple up. Get the plant down, did not worry about too much altogether. And they <laughs> Honestly, to the team on that one. sounds like it's pretty funny, man. Give up the site you saw three towards the it sounds like I would enjoy it. Game. Yeah, you're not wrong. Shy tries to come back in, but it was already too secured. Take it, lock it up, and bring in the W for that. So, was it Furious pistol round first half, crew pistol round on the second half here. So we trade him back. That's the good start they want. And a lot of B pressure oh. already. And a bucky close range. Oh man. W Zero connects. 21 on HP. Guys gotta run back. Snake bite to try to force him to fall back down at 68. Kezit's the one moving forward. There is Eileen out getting the heal up <laughs> for a second life and a second chance against NW Zero. But Damn, bro. The overhill back to 2 HP. So far in terms of attempt of timings coming out from Furia. Kezit's at 2 HP out of that. He's got his ult. Spike oh planted. my gosh. Well, at least there's only two players left for the defensive side. Wing Still pretty now. scary with the HP. Oops. Does get the contact onto one trying to lean out and they're just going to stick it. Really? It was planted too deep at that moment, which is why they held back on that wingman. Khalil knew he had a free defuse. No. Um. No. That's gonna stunt the economy a little bit. All right, actually, looks like it's gonna be a. It was uh, I mean, that's just Dubra, right? Sarah getting in the face of everyone here is Kesnet. Go and show the replay of Lil Bro applying. <laughs> oh my word! Yeah, backwards diffuse through the legs. Tuck oh. under. Try to do that in real life. All right. New wingman can't plant video coming up, dude. It's just, it's just, there's no point, man. There furious, there's no point. There's too many examples. That's the thing. Ninja -like. Like, I could do like a 24 hour long stream of just going over of just how many times this guy messed up the plant. It's not worth it. And there's two clips of him defusing. Yet I'm the bad guy. I don't know, man. I don't know. It seems good. Really, really does. And supporting crew to get the plant. Late lurk happening, and I think this. Where the hell is this guy going in the kitchen? As Conan's rotating across, but Havoc still wins that fight on the Kesson inside the site. Traded out by Havoc, uh, by Heat, rather, sorry. Oh boy. As Conan and Mauser go head to head, it's a Viper dip in favor of Conan. Back to a 1v1. Natsuka mentioned that they like to fight, they were able to fight, and they're doing it. But for Heat. In this role, here's a jump across. And nice time, What's just back and forth, Conan? I guess we go. And puts crew. What is going on in the east? Drain and the no, Lexi, take it easy. Too, and the members and the money. Just heat alive there. They're still able to buy on the side of crew, though, being able to bring these rounds back to their favor. And this is the sheriff buy for Furia, as we see. Kesnet open up the site again to give them the room that they need. And heat, it seems like you can still rely on him. Putting up those numbers right behind Kesnet. He and Kesnet both at 15 frags apiece, by the way. Those boys are online, the Bash Brothers. Um, or B, B right. Start and I should say. Uh, Sheriff. Through here to slowly Once again. move up towards a ramp just for coverage. And they may read this push right. Tap on North to bait out some players, but he did have support in the end. Almost one Oof. got caught. But because Krug yep. had three players towards that A side, Klaus was able to stay alive here. Also get the player advantage, although Orb was picked up in the process. Thrash available for Havoc. Yeah. Don't think they'll use it this time around unless they're able to get these crazy shots with the shares. The clap, he uses it, obviously, right? 100%. Gotta be. Go for the content play. She's the head of him. Manages to get at least the first one here. That was Kesnet was leaning out, yeah, gave a bit of his body beating out the shots and didn't want to punish though, giving a chance for Havoc to fall back with his teammates. 
40 seconds left on the clock. Yeah. And Finally, a couple of players decide <laughs> to fall back and make some They just moves, wanted to check behinds, and then they come back here. It kind of looked like they want to rotate out, but the stack is going to pay off. Knife hits, too. They just dump a lot of util on this. I don't know if group can protect this. Yeah, well, it's planet safe. Oh, they can. Yeah. Whoa. Definitely. With those rifles. Yeah, that was the so, thing. It's planet safe. So I thought it was impressive, that stuff. Nah. Wingman gets there easy. Nice shots. Kesna, as soon as that wall drops, hearing the hiss go down, goes for the shots and instantly connecting with two. And actually, from 15 to 15, they're now 17 and 17. So, that's kind of crazy that they're actually doing this much work on the front lines. Oh! Man, the replay guy did him so die. Cool. You're starting to see the value of Kesson as well on this arena. Yeah. Putting down the numbers on the attack side, and like I said, it was a little bit difficult to fight back when you have to rotate a little bit more, and NW0 is getting that four position. And he just like he gets could. out of there as well, no trade. Runs out, knife goes in. As they're trying to oh my goodness. Dude, it's so Agreed. fast right now. Try with the lure, kill onto Havoc. <laughs> Everyone just wants to duel. Give me a chance for Kuru to maybe work the map at the player disadvantage. Wingman plant gives thrash. Could be a sight hold. Nice forward alarm by here towards A. Fury is going to get a lot of early information to start their rotate before the spikes even near to being planted here. But with 45 seconds left in the round as this happens, when it happens, about... I don't know if they can commit to rotating just yet. So we're going to see big anchor here by Furia. And this wait, just wait this out. And also, okay, he's going to break the alarm. But uh, I was thinking, would crew want to wait for a knife to try to knife it into A and potentially get the hit onto Khalil to deny the util being used and the nanoswarms to delay? But at least it's all been used here official. before the wingman comes in for a plant. So it'll be a safe one. Yeah. Three seconds left. You mentioned that that plant allows Klaus to have the thrash. They hear a TP just got canceled. Oh, it's really back risky. Back does see Noswer, so they'll use the thrash look towards screens. Molly to it's delay. one. That's so at least a good delay. Good they got another uh, on a defense. Gecko Molly if he wants he to use it. He still has another flash to work with. Goes as in. finally Furia tries to go in. It's a one for one, but Shai holds the angle on the top of pipes. A two versus two turning it around. Again, a disadvantage that started off for Crew Esports now becomes the advantage. Khalil now spotted. Hit at the dice. There's and time's just really low on this one. Nicely done for Crew. 3v4 over towards sight, and it looked convincing. If you don't see Kazna and Heat doing it, it is Tebs, mate, thank you so much, man. Appreciate the prime. Welcome in, welcome in. is out here clapping people today. From Lotus to now, now in the Gecko play. Wild stuff. That was actually quite nice on that replay. That's the advantage that Ender was talking about at the desk. The verticality that you have, maybe yes. not with a jet on NW0, but with an Omen. So I can kind of see that, Saint. I, I kind of get where you're coming some from. Some players there from Crew to try to work towards that B site at the beginning. Yet, at the disadvantage, Crew Visa was still able to convert. Now, this is another timeout coming out from Furia, and that's our last one now of the map. Very map dependent, though. Low buy. That thrash is up for Havoc. Has had it for a bit, but no real opportunity to use it. And this is going to be a big round. It'll tie it up if Crew is able yeah, to take this. Yeah, this is their last timeout, so. They have the momentum. Shy is very, very likely to get his ultimate on this next round for Crew. And that would mean Furia basically fall behind for the first time this map. But it hasn't happened. And I don't think Furia would want it to. Sheriff's there. Nas were close to all. Honey, close pretty to much all. out of control they for may crew. Be able to stave off this if they do enough damage on the side. But look at 6,000 credits, 4,600 credits. Crew's yeah, it really is. And they, they, they have another chance to get this a lot bigger. And KO ult for next round. Fischl, I imagine, for next round, unless things get close to this. Crew just keeping up the A here. Overwhelm is so strong. Oops. Missed the knife, but it doesn't matter too much. Instant opener onto yeah. NW0. Because they do have a lower by the thrifty on their end. Kezit's being a little vocal here. As you can see, calling out, trying to scale up here. Give us an opportunity to 
punish to rotate, punish any overextension yeah. of Furia rotating out towards a site. They're just tri trying to put these sheriffs together so they can get some combined trade shots out. Counter Dizzy spotted too. Yeah. Thrown here by Furia. Yeah, they even, the they even put the Viper like, smoke onto this. Us. Come on. What else do you have to defend? And here goes the Leers forward. Kaznit up front with a wingman. This is such planet. a full command. Safe one once again. Defensive side do a they pop own. the KO? Probably the don't line. need to. They have to come up big with the shots first with the shares. Yeah, Center definitely not anymore. Though. It's Furia still losing players, losing numbers. Yeah. Halil. Only one. Yeah, man. Their money is so good. Like, this is the only armor rebuy that needs to happen. This will be a nightmare a for Fury. Harder sides. Honey diff. They're able to basically find one before they're getting into sight. A lot of the early rounds, Fury was staying back to happily play the retake here. A few of the lower buys and crews identified they can get these peaks, they can get these sneaky push ups to start off. A bit of the same setup for, for their attack side here, but two towards mid. This turret still watching B long makes me think it's a committal towards A in the end. Lombok goes down early, the they didn't Lombok. hear it. Knife goes over towards B, With it's no one. Too, so you're gonna we have a fast flank yeah. from the Viper. The two person to walk towards the middle. The they think it would, so yeah, the turret goes down, they have no idea. Kesnit just wrecks everyone on sight. And they double lurk though, this is what's so nice about it. Can the Viper, I mean, it's all about what the Vipers can get. NW0 is now moving out. Spike has been planted at the default spot this time around for crew to play the long range. And they know somebody oh, could be lurking. That's nothing. Kesnit knew. Gets the headshot onto Conan. Last one to go. But now get lurked. Mate, Kesnit is. Once again, I mean, just everybody stay in spot. You guys have Kesnit Kesnit. is something else. There it is. The 10 9 crew finally taking the advantage on this one. Chat, look at this 23 yeah, to 13 and 21 to 10. Separating. And everyone else is half the kills away. The side of Furia in mid. That made it tough. The Furia timeout doesn't have These two the running onto site is a scary scary thing. It could have been what might be happening because they yes were on the cusp of getting a lot of alts online. Cock hasn't it is fired up right now. Adam likes what he's seeing. We haven't really seen the crew timeouts as much. And they are just allowed to Furious right co <laughs> the co streamer. Yeah, it's just, the, the might be a it, solid the uh, able to zero and two for him. Why would they go B? Why would they give up a, a chance at wingman just being shot down and then they're in chaos for the round? A has been the bet uh Ben the <laughs> here. His half time uh, interviews are just so cursed. And that's why Furia wants to try to answer back in some way, shape, or form, this time taking fourth position on top of pipes. Yeah. Mozura using the smoke is a one-way, so you could just look down towards belt. But with that one-way smoke, looks like Kuru wants to fall back and pivot towards B. And see how much more they'll have They've to do. They've rarely been going B. How much more pressure? Viper all goes in. Do they still the want to do this? They do not have a good comp to even try and go through this. To deal with a Viper's bit. Probably gonna turn him away again. Detour. We go back towards A. Benji, what's up, Benji? How we doing, mate? Thank you so much, man. Appreciate the raid. This could be big too if they move. Hope going great, man. Realize potentially that that warp stream is good as well. That's shy, ready, just to flush out the A site. Thank you so much. What's up, Raiders? We're nearing the end. Knife being thrown in the back of a uh, of an icebox classic. Zero. They won't have much left to hold the A site. Right Havoc there. trying to at least lean the rotate early to put Thrash in the right spot for this retake, deciding whether Kitchen or and MW Zero needs to get multi here. The nade is so perfect, by the way. It would have killed him no matter what. Ten seconds left. They have to move quick now. Attempt of a plan from Yeah, and no one goes in to try and stop this one. Lockdown being used Kill Joy ult, but they can just leave this, go back, fish ult. No more fish ult. A wall bang onto Melzer, a headshot there. And he has to ace. To Conan. Trying to stave off the last oh my god, he's here so fast. He's here so fast. Holy. Dude, Havoc gave this really nice try. Um, if you're in a rough position though, right? Two people surviving. If they lose the next one, one nine loss bonus. Get full reset. This is a massive, massive round for them. It's been about the timing. Crew is hitting A so fast. Dude, look at those two fragging out. Was this 26 and 24? Conan usually goes through mid and meets with the team at screens. This time he's able to wreak 
a little bit of trouble back towards that A main spot, and it pays off for Furia. Nicely done. The map control really pays off for Fury on that one. 24 and 23, to sorry. To push defense, out yeah. crew. And this is going to be crew coming in with their own lockdown and thrash. 15 now. assists as well. They committed on grabbing the orb on the defense, the last round for Furia, so crew can pick it up to use their lockdown. Yeah, just straight up, around. just A force, it looks like. Gotta look at this from Furia. Instant pushover towards B. They break the turret behind. Killjoke goes down. Four people on site. KO nades. Fully missed on the floor. That was nice. Wingman plants. Two people on site. That's a star player down. Kesdit picked. Thrash out. Fully blinded as Havoc. Still might just somehow to take down Klaus before, but. Dude, it's so fast right now. What the hell is going on? Okay, nicely done from Fury. Two in a row. Oh my god. <laughs> these two these two swap sides. And then they observe a flick at the same time. So I was like, what the hell is going on here? Everybody dying in maze. So you saw that makes me think crew is kind of stuck in this cluster where they were still getting ready for that position. Understand. Wingman's fault now, not in this one. Trust me, I'll be the first to blame him. Just make sure for long enough. That they could get the position, they lose Kesnit, the one duelist they're gonna get into sight with, and then the rope game <laughs> goes off. Standing. That was a big kill that came out there from MW Zero, so they played the alert. Yeah. And even for crew, it really looked like they were playing to protocol. Wait for that lockdown to move across. They didn't have a lineup on the defense to so throw a molly onto the lockdown to break it. So it would have been easy for crew to move inside the A site, yet yeah. somehow MW0 on top of screens was left unwatched. Manages here to get the first kill. Makes it difficult for crew to retake the site. We playing the offseason season to make me play Gecko? Not a chance, man. Space, so. Dude, Sideshow did this. I had to play Gecko yeah, like Booty, twice not afraid to play this retakes and crew, maybe yeah. they want to say, okay, well, we got to up the tempo, take that space, and maybe, maybe even fight inside the site. And Furia is just beating back demons right now. Heat, 24 frags. Kesnit, 23, 47 between them. America games tomorrow? <laughs> nah, this is the last day of America's until Saturday. Furia finding a way to cool them down. See if they can do it again. The big ultimates they used for the just Pacific, rounds, I'm pretty sure. Get through what crew was bringing on the attack side. And well, actually, it depends, what, 11 to 10 depends where you're from. Two post plants. Comes where you're at. Through. Very big in the last few rounds to be the reason Furia is getting these back. And they still play in a post plant fashion. Three mid, one at each site. That's going to be a push into the map and then a post plant if their site okay, gets A knife hit. over towards A, I a say. only hits one. Ah, that's a big knife and knife off, though, late over towards B here. Only two, well. maybe. Honestly, thought this so guy got hit. Out, the rotate across. Playing passive retake. I don't once again honestly, on a, might have yeah, been hit on one. Flash with the goes in. Safe flash that you can pick up behind the box. Got a molly on site to delay the plant. You have Viper all for the after plant if they get the plant done. Hitting that one minute mark. And you can see moving into sight. Havoc trying to anchor a little bit more. Dizzy, they might have heard that. It's not going to reveal too much info, but they know they have some time to wait. And they don't have to commit to setting up too much. The knife also missed, and that TP actually spawned the arena, so that might be a call to keep a couple of Fury players inside the B site, so yep. they have a weak A. Trying to play contact, Nosworth now throws the molly on the ground to try Whoa. to play. Have able to Absolute fadeaway. As he falls back. Nano Swarm to try to delay as a pit comes out on the attack. And for yeah, they wait for the plant hicks. They really want to try and get a better plant. Yeah, they were, they were gonna go for a safe plant here, but they decide to go for a plant where they can spam a bit more. The Viper commits yeah, over towards no site on his own. Do they use him to take the site or they use him to defuse? So oh, Mosh Pit. Nicely done from Elza, so dead now though. Right? Trying to push across the Viper's pitch. Damn. And Melz are able to hold it down into numbers once again. One enemy remaining. The disadvantage for Furia. <laughs> How's he allowed to live there? I thought everyone would be spamming that. An imperative also that he saves his vandal. But okay, so with the timeout, very nice round from them. Shout out to Melzer, he did not insanely well. Close. Furia can dip in one more time here with a low buy. Maybe some Bulldogs, maybe a Guardian. Havoc trying to get as close as possible for that. And again, 
uh, and these teams continue to go towards the A site. It just becomes so much easier with the flash compositions. Crew able to take that with wingman plants. And oh, then boy. Set up for a good amount of post plant with fragment as well as the Viper Mollies. It, It'll get 2-4 on top to of this. Retake on these sites. The best, be from best bit of money would be, uh, on what, 3-1? 3,100? Either team on game point. Big push up. And this... First Jenny area of A main. I like and this adjustment, because... Conan's been pushing that all the time. Big pushes on both ends, and Havoc almost had a time to get a pick towards A main. Jenny check. Done. Nobody runs out of the right side, so they know. That kind of signifies left side of the side is being played heavy if it is. Havoc shows differently, though, trying to get a little sneak peek there. As he rotates across, it's now the responsibility of uh, Nosworth to look up towards the rafter on that right side. And finally, yeah. starting to slowly fall back. That one way being thrown to Knife Ash, he does catch heat. They're yeah, no, they want it. Once again, another Wait. contact. How far Rotate comes in anyway, go. though, as it everyone else like cuts sounds. Life mid. goes Turn in. Hit Maybe, yeah, hit the kill joint, so they seal the kill joint. So. Bro, this guy's solo on site, managed to get one down. somehow That's after he's dead. Rotate, but meanwhile, the fight is still continuing left. inside A. It's open now. TP came across. Yeah, and the luck is... is safe. The luck of middle, you would imagine, is good for one. way too far to try to help out... MW Zero here, who has to play the hero play, manages to take heat down. And oh boy, why do I speak Conan in these situations? Oh man, this at 11 11 was not pretty. The patience from Conan. Yeah, Conan so had so much patience. The kills in from MW Zero continue to come through. Didn't have to second guess that one. Great job from Furia staving off game point for crew and what looked like. God, what a gutting round if they managed to lose us. That, that was a round four crew. Just waiting enough time to get, uh, or just getting enough time, Furia rather, to get crew to reconsider, look for the flank, and they're able to find the backs as they get that win. Exactly, it was the second time there that there was a super late lurk coming out from Melzer, but Still couldn't catch Conan. Conan was even later on the rotate. They anticipate, they know this rotate coming around. And it's Lurk rather from crew. So Furia is always ready for that when they rotate back towards the A site. So for crew this time around, it continues the same default to start things off. Both Heat and Shy are using Util towards the A site. The scale up from crew out towards oh. green. Jump spot from Melzer. Oh, Melzer is trying to find a time he went for the pre fire shot. of it. Yep. If Havoc was going to try to jump spot one more time, but he imagine that paid off. He actually is the one that gets damaged instead. And this is Furia being like, "Wait, what's happening? They're they're near B. This is weird. Not okay, so this they insert in one over towards a. B. Going a. They go back to A, and a knife a. has just gone close and missed. A. That's the final play. Oh, didn't miss. It just hit no one. And they create a little bit of pressure over towards B. Are we thinking three people two. here? Well, actually, I mean, you saw that rotate coming through. There's actually four player towards B. Yep. A site once again open. Yeah, I mean, you would imagine this is a free plant, right? Wait, why are they not pushing in? forward? Wait. That's the okay. Right? Just getting them the KO ult, they kind of see it. Right, you visually away. see. Maybe they're not here. This lurk still from Fish ult goes in, that's gonna clear all the sight, and they just go back, and now the rotate this comes in. Rain has made a bit of progression. Does Wingman actually a, plant good this time? Looks a bit better. And the thrash was used towards the A side, so that confirms that there's nobody there. The plant then comes in towards B, but you once again have Melzer Fish on the all from back on defense. Yeah, we got to carry on radar. watching that Meanwhile, late luck over towards middle. Uh, sorry, towards over towards B. A. Nozzle is fully on it. Lovely again. peak Numbers once they break the fish. Knife goes in, hits two people yellow, so they know there's two back yellow. Ah, look at the util. Too much. Way. Way too much. That was nice. It was, yeah, that was so much overwhelm from the util. All right, done, Breeze. But they'll still be there when it counts. Furia running from site to site, trying to get the tail of crew on that one, and they finally see that it ends B, and they finalize 13 rounds there as well. This is a good map for a mess. It was a little bit of both. The compositions both team bring uh, brought in kind of. 
Yeah, there's a lot of overwhelm util. But it's relatively hard to play against these comps. Just the KO Gecko is a bit of a nightmare. You gotta play a lot different. And teams, are just, teams are still like adjusting to it. Prius, hello mate. What are, what are you? What are the two dots for? What am I getting blamed for now? <laughs> there was a skill dip yesterday. Dude, you've not seen the clip? <laughs> yeah, I was flaming you heavy, man. Oh my goodness. But you actually got wrecked, bro. I'm not gonna lie. You know the best thing about it? <laughs> the best thing about it as well? I, I took the 50-50 gamble and you actually weren't observing it. It was so sick. It was honestly one of my finest moments. If people ask me for my top five streaming moments, I think that's in there. <laughs> Red Bull gives you wings. I think that's, that's going to be in there. Where's the clip? How am I going to find this clip? I can, um, hold up. Maybe I can find this clip. Give me one minute. Let me spam some ads first. Let me spam some ads and I'll find a few careers. How about that? Um, WTF Rando Jen, thank you so much, man. Appreciate that. Should I link? Should I link it or should I play it in a bit? Prius, how long you got? You're doing the second half. Okay, give me, give me, give me one minute, and then I'll play it. Okay. I'll be back sec. Uh, Rando Gen, again, thank you, thank you for doing that. Okay, Prius, you still here? 
Fury are showing that they have plenty of fight left in them as they force a map right. three on. First of all, first of all, you gotta admit this observing is nice. Do I need to move my head? No, I don't need to move my. Head. You understand it's me talking. Yellow needs to go huge, and on site, Leaf gets one. Dude, who's this observer? They're outrageously good. This can't be Prius. No way, there's no way that's Prius. That's Sapphire all day. There's no way in hell that's Prius. I'm not accepting it. That was the observer. There was insane, bro. The observer there was insane, dude. Who is that? Someone find out who this is. That was nuts, bro. That was a sick round. They have so much information to work with. They just have to have the crosshair placement. I'm in disbelief if that's Prius, man. <laughs> disbelief. It's Sapphire all day. Has to be. And it was. So got that one right normally expect when you're playing the jet comp Can't on that omen was. followed up by some really good flashes out of Nosworthy, where and that's what really propelled it was honestly a clean round though there. but in the oh, second man, it was half, a clean I round mean, um that people that want to watch it with my camera no 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 let's keep talking about the first half i know i want to keep talking about the first half look mw is there on the omen like especially you talking about the pathing into sites i loved his teleport usage and smokes inside of mid i think that the amount of times i've seen omen locked in on this map that fire should tweet it i don't think she's seen that destroy the I don't think she's seen it. Infuriates me because I thought she was going to enjoy it. Into the corner, uh, over, nah, over I'm not sure anyone sent it to her. Jumps past any sort of alarm bot on the ground, any sort of turret in kitchen. You can smoke off the turret if it's placed on boiler. And we saw a lot of that with MW Zera going under tube, TPing on top of tube. Like, yeah. I thought that was really well rounded. Yeah, I think the theory was, was really good behind it. And the follow up was there too, right? Like, we're seeing them do a lot more like plays on the fly, having like the kind of Wait, you guys do half. You guys are doing a half each. That's it, so it weird. Massive. From map Wait, did you yeah, do map the map each the and then the okay? Yeah, I get it now. Map each and then a half each at the end for third. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> this round destroyed me. Yeah, well, what, what is it about? Okay, <laughs> so first of all, we're starting up. He's already getting overhealed. Hughes again jumps in the air, falls and kills him. That's and a legendary man. Oh, man who this guy in the worst position ever. And they just get Why stuck are you bullying on. Wingman? They just like, get he's, stuck he's just on. trying his best out there. I mean, this like, round I was, get it. It was planted a little around the corner. It was a but national tragedy. He's trying. <laughs> he's trying his best. Ego. And you're just out here. He should try harder. <laughs> what, uh, Have his Mimi on my side? He should to try him. harder? Yes. He's got like one job, bro. Yeah, and he's down. not doing it well. Yeah, well Damn, she's on my side. Wrong, We're combining them. Providing <laughs> value for the shareholders. <laughs> <laughs> this is wrong, I mean. And survey does not agree with you. All right, well, let's go ahead and see where we're headed for map number three. Go ahead and put those behind us. Now, basically, a BO1. That's it. You just got to win this one, guys. If you're crew or if you're furious. I mean, they're three. just looking for that win right <laughs> here. Who have the chance to do the funniest thing ever and lose 13 11? Lose oh, another and map and by and two rounds. Last year, where every series they're really close and then they lose. I really don't Please want to see don't that. I don't happen. think that would actually be funny. I mean, I don't, it would be the saddest thing ever. I would laugh. Personally, <laughs> I, I would, laugh. would be And comedy. he's a bad person, Chad. Because it's Breeze. It's going to be a coin flip anyway. <laughs> it's like in a, in a game that, I, in my opinion, has been pretty coin flippy already. I think yeah. a lot of these retakes are not coming down to strategic value or anything sure. like that. I think it's coming down it's to flashes. who's getting lucky in the right moment, who's looking in the right moments in some cases. I think that's the kind of chaos that. Is happening in the game. We I mean, it is chaos. It. He's not wrong. It's and a it's lot of chaos. It's happening as a result, again, of how the teams are playing. Like, uh, crew continue sending, like, a lurk on lurk on lurk in their typical fashion. We are going to see a continuation of that on this map of Breeze. That is without a doubt. Um, <laughs> I'm just wondering if I'm missing it. You almost had it, man. Here, like, with the addition of heat, is it going to <laughs> You messed it up, though, bro. You like, almost had it. Jet ideas? Jet yes. I want it. I trust me, I'd rather be at home, so the map, joke's on the him. Way. His utility was really good yeah. on that one. I think he's flexing <laughs> he over to a different role yeah, super well it, and still having pop-off games like that. Like, it's a solid really attempt, man. Yeah, to be supportive as well is very interesting from the guy, too. So, yeah, I'm really curious. I do have to say, that comp, I don't think it was it, uh, personally. Yeah. I don't yeah. think it was... Uh, you can definitely see the limitations in the, I, in the, I in the walls that they ran into. Especially on the defense, like what you were talking about in the pregame, Christy, right? And like Not having those extra layers the jet gives you, the verticality, things like that, they were really missing it. But we're into agent select here and 
standard for yeah. the side of Fury. Remember, Fury played this in their first match against NRG, and they came out actually swinging pretty yeah. hard, but that was mostly because they were going into the stuff that we've been talking about that we want to see change, which was MW leading the charge, MW making plays for himself, MW hey, recording same everything comps, for right? himself. So let's see if that's changed at all here. The I think standard. Might, we're just playing default breeze, everybody. Like, hey, yeah, the absolute <laughs> the standard. We know each other. We know how the comps work. Like, expectations are clearly set for these two teams. It is now specifically about reading them round around. Well, we're going to be closing out this Monday with a map three. So let's go ahead and find out which of these teams are going to pick up their first dub and send it right back to your casters, Vansili and Rivington. That's right, Rave. We have some good old honest Valorant on Breeze. Yeah, you, me, you're a duo. <laughs> but yeah, some good old honest Breeze here. Same compositions on both ends. And yeah, yeah I yeah. think I agree with what they're saying on the desk. It's min maxing what you could do now. Just kind of like playing Ascent default, right? It's MW0 versus Kesdin. How do you activate ah, them? Like How that. do you place them? But at least they have new support players behind what them. The hell, on yeah. one end, it's Nosbur. On the other end, it's Heat playing the KO, playing the Silva. And that's going to be the differences there of how these two players, these two star duelists, could get activated in these situations. Get me in here. Whose aim is better right now? Crew came out first map. Yeah, pretty Real much. Real strong. Fury is all his aim maps for this one. one. But that firepower favoring what it all comes down to. The buys and we well. have Crew on defense, Fury on attack. And dude, I see a triple sheriff. Round. As the wall goes towards A, a little focus towards. Elbow and yeah, the push. flash goes flash in. Push. Havoc, Havoc doesn't eat the flash, gets Kesson an important kill. You gotta get out of that drone, my friends. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, they had no idea there was someone else close. Okay. Well, we talked about shenanigans on Ice Bars. We're gonna right away here, pistol round on Breeze. All th the three remaining players of Furia at least make it inside an open B site for a plant. Retake the push. Really, the push up? MW Zera, so risky. Yikes. He needed to make plays. Now long Ooh. range, it's still won by Conan as he has a sheriff in Sheriffs his own against hands. Ghost. Two two. Landing all shots onto Heat as well, leaving Kesson, uh, Kesson alone. Ghost on a one a versus two. Bold players with Sheriffs. Double yeah. swing backside. Oh my. Together. Yeah, too strong on this one. Sheriffs come out on top. Conan, Nicely so done. Conan hit a really good shot. The one over towards spawn really made it doable. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they were trying to sell the fake altogether. Uh, sold, purchased, bought. I don't know, Furia. Still able to make the B site work, though, because of that distraction, the little room that they gained. You got to work with what you got, and the timing MW Zero was able to create on the one push did dwindle the numbers. Yo, you got him with them. Pick out the backhanded compliment. Turn that round around. Yo's not a fan of backhanded compliments. Right in the eye. Swept off the feet. All right. <laughs> Into second outlaws, guardians, everything that would keep crew at a long distance here getting purchased up. Okay. Oh, okay. It's not one tap, it's the other. Yep. Yeah. Havoc picks Double hold up, on this one. All person stack command, over towards B, so it's not the best move over towards A. But it is Kesnet, so. In halls, just looking to get a quick lurk on. And see what he can do from the back of enemy lines if he follows all the way through, and this isn't just an open door play. Really calm by Furia. Giving a good amount of respect here to crew because always could pull something funky, but it's not going to be the case. Should be an easy plant towards A. And crew, they have a and really yeah, good. Yeah, we could farm the rotates on this one. Well, I mean, both comps are the same, but to one. play those retakes if they're using Klaus's oh. util right, right? So I know they're going to have to watch halls after this round. The defense is a little separated because of the low buy, but they could really start to set this up where they're getting those retakes like they were trying to do on Furia towards Ice Box. At least you have that min-maxing, right? You look at those players remaining from crew. They don't Is have there a game armor. after this? No, Probably last game. anticipated an outlaw coming out from NW0 in the second round. And the ZR continuing to try to farm more kills. Kyle's getting a right click. <laughs> Dink. But it's, once again, NW0 just holding W, trying to use this as cannon fodder. Going and just door. trying to build up the blade storm ASCP. Oh, he's going door. Last two just holding outside of the doors. Now spotted double swing. Shy gets the pick and will dot his spike. Well, it's not going to be making that gun. So Down they lose a gun on this. On four stay alive. Khalil really wasn't in a position to get a weapon there. No, just buys Vandal coming into bonus here. All right. 
See how crew sets up. My eyes are Map on 102 go worth watching. Um, honestly, the, the icebox is pretty fun, like man. Kind of definitely, if you're going to watch one, definitely elbow. watch Map 2. And my next focus is MW0. What are they giving him? How are they facilitating this push into site? Might be towards Halls again. So a bit of a split was a That one was a bit of a fumble from Fury, honestly. Fury, Fury, almost a double lurk, since Halls will be played. And you have Khalil over on the left side. With that Guardian. Though the knife thrown early did get a bit of info or picked up by Nosware. Early Al Jones 2 spawning MW Zero and yep. you see instantly they fall back a little bit from the tunnels as well from Kesnet. Since they've lost that drone in the early rounds, they just have to play the mid potentially a little bit more passively, especially with that camera pushed forward up towards B main for crew. Fudia though just waiting. Yeah, just not giving him anything. I mean, that's a body shot. Still up for Conan. So he's gonna meet meeting up with his teammates. Knife goes in, Knife hits one. one. They saw one as well. Drone and goes in, recons here. Cypher over towards B, still not made a step. And, and dark down. oh, and the double. And, and someone else is on 10 yeah, HP as well. Right, this util yeah, now open. what do they do? Keep an eye on Cypher. He's gonna break. He's Melzer gonna break this trip over towards B, but honestly, so Melzer getting that information Still early is everything. Well. He, one HP. Still gets one. Decayed a bit from that wall. No way. Also staying away from the radius thrown by Havoc. Oh my god. He's invincible. Meanwhile, it gets rid of the lurker. Khalil falls. And really nothing working in favor of Furia until... Hey, nicely done from Heat. How has he got away with so much smart, here? He did great. Two kills on 10 HP. Really, really nice. Um, Melza deserves a huge shout-out, though. The, the idea was fake pressure over like, towards you know B by That's breaking the trip. Cypher kind of descends it into sight. But the fact that he went aggro and saw one, just... So obvious, this one here. So obviously, it was all a fake. And he even sees a spike drop there as well. It was actually the rounds with that push. It definitely looked like a little bit of a beginning of ice box, beginning of Lotus, where they're really over rotating here for Furia, thinking that they could catch some players, run fakes, and just capitalize on rotates. And it almost did until that first yeah. shot came out on defense, though, from Melzer. A beautiful one that really stopped that. Okay, early bit of U-Tilt. Great pressure like they're going to be towards A, keep three people here, and hit over towards the B site. And now, what do we got? Weapons. Drone. No ults on this Crew one. Could still have a pretty decent buy. Melzer with the Guardian instead. Yeah, it's uh, a big five rounds, right? Previous round. Dash is already activated. We're trying to hit the Big, split. big swing rounds. W zero, though, Massive jewel. Melting down. Being corroded by oh, the man. Snake Tagged and... 44 and still gets the pick onto Melzer. Tagged Meanwhile, and in a Viper Molly and he still wins. Side, half wall. One for one. Plaid now engaged and placed. It's in the favor of Furia right now on his player advantage. Alan Jones trying to clear out the front of Berlin, back in the front of the site. It does get the ping onto one player, and that's MW0 trying to rotate back. But a wall comes up to survive and to save. My all comes down to Conan. Hides in the corner, still gets a pick before he finally falls. A two versus two, Ooh, make that okay. now he that alone. Furia winning a lot of jewels. No maybe they shouldn't be winning. The in terms of position wise. Look at them playing the protocols, playing the time in their favor. As I say that, Havoc jumps up and gets picked. Tap on that spike. Conan now could play the time. Gonna be difficult for Heat. Gets that Just a little too late. No, I'm lucky, man. <laughs> Don't cut the wrong wire. Ah, oh, done. He knew it. He did. <laughs> he knew it. He said, I just don't want to feel. I don't know. Don't let it hit me. He's still backing up. Going out, crew. That was just a round where they get stuck in sight. Furia made that awkward with the speed that they hit it. And then MW's era cooking on the molly of Melzer. Melzer's like, oh, maybe I should push up and push the ladder area. No, still there, still there. That's the crazy part too, because yeah, he went down to 44 HP, Before yet still gets an entry frag, still gets a second yeah. kill towards the back of the site. It's all about making your enemy think uh, think differently, think a different scenario is happening than what they were ready for, and yeah, playing the mind games was MW Zera. They're back in, outlaw for him, but Bladestorm is up. Is This is a very fast rotation towards the mid doors for crew. Big jewel in middle from the Cyphers. For the retake, so they could oh actually flood back here from mid double doors, yet the wall will still stay up. If needed, because Melzer even checklist right, fight. especially not after that kill. Khalil, though, with the lurk. Right, he goes the Jumping other close. way around. Say no that's huge. For a trade. 
NWZ are continuing with his outlaw looking down towards the A. Shy is literally just like, man, I have had a kill here. How do you not push? Damage is, damage is still getting done. It's a little bit scary at the moment for Fury. I like that Khalil came back here. I yeah. thought you were going to get the caboose problem where the last person coming through is going to get hit by somebody watching mid, but everybody's very careful here. Caboose, that's a name I haven't learned in a long, name I haven't <laughs> learned in a long time. Heard, rather. As I say that, finding my words, there's a contact play towards mid. And finally, crew falling back. It's really Kezna just waiting for his teammates to rotate back towards the A site as Furia with the stronger body. Pretty hard now we'll in terms of three to win this. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that was a nice call though. They don't have too much map control, so they want to take over towards spawn. Only one person here. Yeah, they did great on this. Here for Fury to use in the rounds to come. An all command is there. You're not going to reach Nasra with that if it comes time in the site. And Furia seemed to have a really good idea of where they want to go, how they want to read it. The two flanks they've been having, which was MW Zera in halls and Khalil working around the map, haven't really been totally figured out by crew. So Furia can keep doing that. No elbow plays yet from Furia. Still can flex into that. Really just working fundamentals on this. Oh, oh, oh. That's a beautiful picture of Shy that MW Zera just drew. I gotta say. <laughs> I gotta say. All right. We're finish this one out. There's a shot from Kesnit. And they will go down crew falls. Fury it feels like alright damage considering it's considering it's an eco. Already, this is the issue. The like four ults. So this could be a spicy round as we get the operator online. Four ults you gotta win. I mean yeah, it's a good timeout. They're probably just gonna go aggro, it's the most obvious thing. Gonna try and get a kill so you don't get XX on with all these ults. A nice little flex on this round for them to push forward, trying to get under the skin instantly of Furia on the attack side. Khalil's Lurk has been very aware of trying to find those secrets that crew is lurking into, though. But you do bring up a great point where they haven't really added some early pressure on middle yet. No. For crew visa. There is not nah, second half, he said. That, leak, uh, that Lurk, the late Lurk from Khalil out towards middle. But although if they're trying to push down towards that elbow, you still have Khalil setting up that camera in that spot. So his responsibility right now is not really to try to get forward position and trying to create any type of di uh, diversion or or um, ruckus here towards top middle he's just trying to gain that information for the team if anybody's going to be pushing out how do they react to that finding a main could be one of those possibilities for crew once again i mean they've done a pretty good job on that piss run and especially now that they have the off intensive kesnit and we all know this ko and jet on the a side you could do these pop flashes for peak towards a main yeah, he's going to hold a tighter angle here from Palm Tree. I think one of the things we look at, the mid's not being covered so much. If you look at the mini-map, is because this wall covers towards A. So if mid's what open, they're trying wall? to fight what's coming from tunnels or what's through the wall. But sometimes you get this mid-wall that goes yeah, across like Yeah, looks like, like they're this, expecting A split. And that allows you to play a little bit towards mid, which crew is not doing. Yeah. So this switch up kind of allow or lets Fury take mid. Me a tier 2. I want to try and catch some of like the playoff games for, for tier As 2 stuff. Comes out from elbows, I'll so be able to catch a few games. That pressure, it's Furia instead. So Kesson hard when the schedule is so packed like this. Front of the main here just to block that line. So it gives a chance for Groovies that have a better read or that mid control or I don't want to be like tired for bigger games and just miss stuff and just be a zombie. Oh my. I like the idea of popping over there though. They're able to do that until Melzer gets dropped by Nosworth's Hunter's Fury. Klaus now slightly flash, big camera up, couldn't contact that kill. Now Shy's gonna try to Shy's gonna kill too. Okay. Havoc drops a spike here. Nice second headshot there onto Conan. Spike now being dropped. He runs that clock down, giving a chance for the rotate of heat. Kezet still moving up with that operator outside the nest and that camera. Both of them looked up and smiled here for Furia. Yeah. Walking together towards the back of the site. Shy is left. waiting. The step. Wide swing, um. shock dart, four Five HP down. remaining, but he has support there from heat in the back of the arches. Nosworth decides otherwise. And the wide swing was with the spike. Feet. <laughs> Shy's keeping himself safe. Oh, audio cue. There. Hasn't it? Peering down the side. This guy just has no time now. Okay here for crew. Yeah. Up, just hold it back. There's no way that Nosworth could win this. Nicely done. I mean, Shy deserves an absolute shout out for that. It was ridiculous. Looking like it was done. 
Like the round was pretty much Playing done. A bit more towards the back of the site. Previously, we, we saw crew falling in sight in those positions, right? They hold a lot stronger here. This time, making Furia come in before they can get any of those fights. And that's when you're really looking at multiple angles when Furia has to second guess and swing the mouse, catching them off guard. Four all still here for crew. They can easily punch back on this. They're gonna be fighting against the Viper's pit if the plant can come down from Furia. But it might be tough to get in a sight with this. A low buy goes in as well. I didn't realize nice they were so though. wrecked that in terms of, start. Uh, terms of money. What happened in that timeout? Good start you're seeing for crew. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're hitting some shots that now. Nice little shot there by Klaus just to make sure that he protects Kesnet as he's trying to walk back in. Every type of angle that you're trying to push solo here for Furia to try to create some space with the lower buy that you have has been denied by crew so far. Shy might get caught, leans out, yeah, gets some damage say. done, support from so Klaus. So he's ready to swing from good. that. So far, Klaus has saved two of his players when they were being pressured at this point. So the at least the fundamentals of being here closer to trade is actually quite nice for crew visa so far Standing ahead. Oh. slow play they're gonna leave kaznit by himself for now easy escape there off shot towards mid with protection on b main so this is a good lean left. focus here from crew with the knowledge they have Able to quickly snap down onto A site. If the Heat can stay alive in this one, they have a good chance of just stalling out double door. Yeah. One enemy remaining. At least one. Yeah, and that's the trade they needed. Good round, though. Very nice one for uh, crew view. One armor so rebuy, one gun rebuy. Back into the ground round for food to get right on his good now. But the question is now is. Is the late Hall's lurk or the outlaw plays going to be non existent as you just see here? Or just saw, sorry, a Vandal bike coming out from NW0. But that said, the main point is that maybe the lurk towards Hall is not going to be as fruitful anymore. Yeah. Because you, now that they have money to work with for crew, you can put that trip. You could get that support on middle. That's what we wanted to see at the beginning as well. So all they needed was to get that economy rolling. Some hard anchors that are actually working towards this B site. Mm -hmm. They've been challenging weak and Five towards Aza now. for a couple of these rounds. Nice now shot. To see that, uh, it's yeah, they be are massively back. players to actually start taking control of those alts and a site. Yeah, that's got to feel good. Five alts are ready, and you start off around with an op kill. So you. It was an op kill on Havoc who had KO as well, right? The alts from Furia, they won't feel comfortable getting into site and using them unless they can do it with this amount alive. Dash in, oh, even above the trip, but not needed. He gets the easy yeah, kill Recon the goes in lands. and they know that no one else has been in the past here. The rest of Furia trying to move inside. They might not even have to use any ults in this. They're just going to uh, save. An anti -KO oh my god, we got sure 50 seconds. No matter what, 50 seconds of the save. Actually, we got off at the beginning, right? So. <laughs> and they're going to run right back into that uh-oh too if they go back to A. Kaznet's already pushed up in A main. Yeah. Looking way down into their spawn. And yeah. Almost an angle that Khalil's on right now, but he's got to swing a little bit forward for the archway. At least for now, food together, they get to uh, enjoy the beautiful landscape of Breeze as Absolutely. for the next 30, 30 seconds, seconds, they'll left. try to save their weapons. I mean, these are very important to try to carry over to the next round. The economy's down to almost nothing. And if they were playing this anti-KO setup here, because you have Shy playing with the trips more towards the A side, mm -hmm. camera to look towards Halls. Breeze, they know attack side. play against a lot of ults in the next round. 10 seconds left. He 4K credits goes hunting. Just seeing where they might be. <laughs> the orb emitting. Throwing up the cam. Toss All right. A good round for Fury to save as well. Uh, getting into the site. Low armor on this one. It, it, especially if they went B, Klaus could have just started dropping Util back there with Melzer. Low armor chipped off right away, and then they I'm out after the three in a row. Crew as they all come into sight, so yeah, a little bit they more. They got a some. Uh, heavy armor. I mean, they might just straight cool straight up fast say. hit. To be honest, they might just keep this real simple. Just very scared of the op. Obviously, op's not good for retake. We can overwhelm. Right at the pinky finger. Watching this spot. You know what it's like to jam your finger. Yeah, yeah. It hurts. I felt that. That's an op to the finger. It's like stubbing your toe, stepping on a Lego. <laughs> all right. It's, it's just been alt hold for the past few rounds. Furia's not in a position to use theirs, but they're mounting. 
Kuru has not had to use theirs, so they have an answer to basically everything, and we get the timeout. Yeah. The Furia timeout. What is... How do you solve this puzzle? How do you... Yeah, I think they just go fast. It's the easiest... Through, the easiest play here. And then make sure your hit counts, because the money, again, is not going to be good. They lose this round. Furia does. They're still on 2,900 credits. You do the math. You have 3,600, 35, or 35, 31. It's a low buy again if they want to and keep pushing their money thin. Yikes. All right, we're into this one. See? Oh. Wait, what? See, that picture hurts. <laughs> Shot with an, oh my God. Hey, what crazy. the? It was like felt through his teammate. <laughs> Gotta watch out. Pings all to the right side. Oh my gosh, that minimap just got lit up like a light bright towards the right side of that pillar. Exactly where Melzer is standing. Let's see how they actually... Trying to do this yeah, the they go man. fast on this one. Definitely the easiest call. So makes the most sense. Up on the retake is going to be a bit of a nightmare, but they have a lot for it. They got their own KO ult and they have a Sova ult. Viper ult goes in. Lovely reaction. This ult in terms of the... Oh man, it's really nice knowing that they're all spawn. Do they even pop the ult for crew? All of the focus could be could just be balls, could just be worth just saving it for the next round. Here comes the attempt the crew trying to fight back towards the back of this viper wall. Oh, Khalil had a chance here. Oh, gun shows. Now maybe the ults might be coming forward. There is that null command out on the defense. Al drone to look inside that pit. That clock is ticking. They have that quick, beautiful under um, Now you're sticking on that spike. There's only one left to go. It's not Holy oh, oh my god. <laughs> I think it might have been done time-wise anyway, but nicely, nice little spray uh, transfer on this. Clutching for the squad, Nas were back in, calling the shots and hitting the shots when Furia needs it. One off the all. Let's watch it again. Oh my God! One, two, three, four. And the fourth goes really nice. The door on the attempt of the retake there from Crew. Incredible. Incredible stuff from the IGL. You mentioned the amount of ults that they had to counter what Furia had on their end, yet only okay, using an ult command. Yeah. Back to going slow. They got, I so mean, confident. The time there was a lot of ults invested, right? Perfect. Three ults. <laughs> you go. also got to remember, they got the K ult out of them, so a small extra win on this. Viper ult goes in over towards A, and crew really want to win this one. Only they one person surviving be happening just and yet for crew, for reset crew, again. Yeah. It is the big towards swing round. Side. Easy play towards A. They just have to watch mid with this pit up for now. So they have lessened the At least it could be if Crew win. Put on the map for now. But this mid control again always becomes a question. And I think Furia know they can work it. Say, okay, we don't have any extremities. Mid's open. Let's see if we can find our fight there. And they are ready. To pick off your trade off each other, and it looks like the classic drone the pit. and a four person Smart push. I say four person, Korea. three one because oh. one up tube. We'll Actually, looking good. Sova is never going to feel comfy to use the drone here, though, right? Because the Viper all just leaks in contact. so much. Nice flash. Honestly, MW0 did really good making that, making sure that this could be a trade. Melzer staying inside the pit, but the spike is down. Oh, it's nice he handles as well. Person A main makes footsteps and then person over towards site hits. Big kill, pick up spike over towards door, has to cross. Does cross. Big round from crew. Yeah, Kesner did great. Big, big round for crew, and it's the worst outcome for Furia. Just got to accept this one. Conan expected the pretty much play for the last. to be happening. Didn't know that the smoke was blocking that, and it just catching the side of his head there, thinking his teammate had back sight. It's the split second plays where the comms can't even come through yet. Enemy that they're remaining. taking a hold of these rounds. Very nicely taken. Kesnet forward to push. Still gets the operator as he backtracks to get it after the round ends. All right. A lot of the alts have been expended. Dueling Hunter's Fury is a possibility on this round. But again, it's a low buy for Furia. I feel like they've been living in the low buy land the second part of this first half. Yeah. The economy will stay low as they lose one player. 
saw that trip pulling him back. And not destroyed yet either, just tagged in that trip. Yeah, it's a nice dash away. have to worry. And that dash gone. Down. So it's going to be much more difficult to try to re-enter the B site. So Ao committed to towards middle, but A. the info is so good. From Conan, here is the rotate. I mean, they have so much info KO. here. Just early A info, early middle info. Melzer planning aggressively. Shy getting the pick onto Conan. Melzer able to fall back as he was trying to use his own orb as a extra extra obstacle to try to get one pick before he falls back. But he'll play the numbers. Bounding around, getting back into position. MW Zara playing some mind games, getting I'll people in his direction. But Kaznitz ready. Very ready. Up dropping, dashing away, beating it out for a yep. shot to get the pick. And MW Zero was trying to create that. Very nice round. Just didn't have the money for it, Fury. They do for this one, though, and they're up really against a server or, I mean, double server. That's it. Still available. Maybe this happens, but. And Havoc maybe will have an ult command if they could focus on orbs and plants. The op, yeah, the op is annihilating them a little bit. Jeez, when Kesna and Heat get. I just see him go fast day with a server or again. Two. 12 and 5, 11 and 5. Shy is there still fragging. Ooh, KO flash to set up the op over towards A main. One. And Kesnit's information cannot be understated here. Or actually overstated. Ooh. Okay, that's nice, yeah. So that's Again, the uh, two. KO Classic got hit by the flash so he couldn't flash shoot the recon. thrown back on the other end too and tried to get the wall bang shot. You saw as soon as they fell back now towards the site. Because it dropped his off to pick up a phantom. So they feel some sort of maybe re hit coming out from Furia towards yeah. the A side, and he'll be ready with the rifles to help out instead of going buckshots. A lot of the rounds, Furia were able to take a Knife goes on. Knife goes fast. into sight, so they know the whole of sight is clear. We just all stairs and uh. Through. Heat starts us oh, man. Counter Hunter Fury. Nice flick oh. coming through from Kesdit for that kill. Klaus, meanwhile, gets a Hunter's Fury kill onto Havoc. Two players at a disadvantage for Furia, but it's Nas where he's been and come a clutch before instantly gets wow. denied. Dash for him. Going for it. He does not want to give a chance here for Furia to really set up, but MW Zero is the one alive. Dash away, snake butt on the ground. One hit on the spike, up drop on the top. I mean, nice attempt from him. Shots. Dude, what a timeout, by the way. Hit 4 1 and he calls a timeout and they win 7 5. 7 5. What a start from Furia here. It seems like they just had the everything changed they since then. To be, how they needed to stop what was happening, and it was alert through halls. It was alert from Khalil. Then all that started to get shut down as Kesnet got the operator in hand, and the team was able to use their utility across the map where Kesnet wasn't looking to gain more info. Info game was that, and then crew again just popping off with the shots. Kesnet and Heat, 13 frags apiece. Yeah, definitely a good game, and it's tight going back and forth now between these two teams. Yeah, they might have to win double pistol here. Get his take on making a return to Furia. Ah, sí, se siente como estar en casa. Yo ya estaba antes en Furia, conozco a Jaime, conozco a todo el staff que representa Furia, y también tipo se siente bien. Yo creo que va a ser bien para mí también tipo esa nueva etapa para como jugador, volver a ser capitán. Y, y también para enseñar y conseguir aprender más no role de nuevo. Yeah, teach more, learn more, getting back to that leadership role now for Furia and trying to, once again, I mean, he's leading by example pretty much at this point too with yeah. that clutch that we saw a couple of rounds ago. I think the teach more part is where he's getting in right now. He's yeah. like, remember how to do this, guys? Like, <laughs> I'll, I'll re-show you, don't worry. But no, it's it's so true, right? You get into a team, it still has to be the synergy, and you're always learning. You're always in that mentality where you can grow and hone your skills. and. Nasworth, especially in, in the IGL position right now, with that pressure on, you're looking at the mini map more. You're trying to formulate plans while you're hitting your chat button, or not even having to hit a chat button, rather, but just talking to your team. And then you might get peaked at the same time. It's not a perfect world. It's not like every time you call a strat, the other team waits for you. So, yeah. So they talk a lot about having the IGL be able to get the frags in, too. Their focus isn't always on that crosshair. All right. We're in 7 to 5. Second half. Furia now to be on defense. 
20 seconds left on this one. It looks like it's just gonna be a soft B site for Furia. They're ready to play the back of that. Crew may be able to punish it. Ghost across the board for them. Kesnit's actually gonna get Ghost armor. That feels good. We Raid put boss. that much responsibility on him. But trust in Kesnit. Let's go. A little bit of Raid Boss on the attack. Leading heavily towards Klaus, the B uh, to start. Yep. Klaus drops him in. The elbow to try to catch I will share it again. Walk down push on the defensive side and does he see nothing. Well, that molly is very well timed and dodges the, the knife. Being thrown first just to flush out the in, the, the and the push cycle, rather, over to what down. This is very nice. Got camera giving yeah, early that, info. They, really try to they have this as well. Of the site to really this free pass and stack in. over towards B. Is this going to stay here for a while? Main thing is, is that the wall is committed. First look here with some shy, so they have that coverage on back and still towards the door. Oh wow. They're so close. They're knocking on the front door and they're gonna be right in Furious' face. What? How? Doesn't matter yet. Heat answering back with two of his own. As Shy is trying to move forward, catches to rotate. That's MW0, that's false. Oh. Now you hear the footsteps of Khalil running around this B site. And they definitely know with the rotate coming back from spawn that the A site is now open. I'm so, what did I miss it? In the sky, they'll be able to see exactly where crew's going when they get back into sight. It may count for one if they can get this cam to count. Good lurk here from Klaus could just throw this all up in the air, but the lurk is through halls. Yeah, camera just spotted there, shy. And they haven't broken it down, but there's that lurk from behind. Do they get scanned? The down. I mean, the recon was thrown here ages ago, the right? Heat at 26. I saw that the Sova got assists. I, I thought I get... Wins it. Turns around. Wow. And Havoc finds the timing to allow Dude, Putin I need to see that replay. The Did they the get scanned me, late? That is... Because they... The Sova got double hard. assists. This is going to be tough. You put so much... Uh, a direction on the opening of the door. But I really don't There's think they did. Main, so of course one peeks around, but no, everything falls into place. Two halls for the retake to Okay, go it was the, the recon. Dude, that when happened. we were in the POV, I just didn't even see it. Think of in the moment, and yeah, that start off, which must have been like, shoot me now. Yeah, and I think they thought they were covered by it because they saw the first initial scan. The, the, the recon was so high that it went over the wall that was like this. Quite surprised that. Hit him here and him. Still got ping trying to engage an entry inside B, and that's an error here that's going to be costly at least to start. That top of the wall thing, yeah, that's the end. NW0 once again with an outlaw. Um, okay, so double pistol on this one. That's huge. Pressure across the map for crew. There's little bits of everything. Do they hear anything in mid? Do they hear anything from elbow? But they're faced with an outlaw right now. A knife. <laughs> That's the back. Knife of hits a lot of them. Enemy Easy Very shots. calm mm -hmm. on it. Beautiful assists coming out from Havoc. That knife just scattered crew. Trying to just anchor up towards the ace side shot. Slow reload. Knows they have to back up. Little window taken there by Melzer, but not much space to be gained. Yeah, and even Melzer's running up without really waiting for Kesney, who's moving up with him. He has a sheriff to work with. Damn, bro. And now he has a sheriff to work Anyone with. Anyone want to land a bullet? Okay, there we go. That work? No but well, at least stuck. they got a gun. We're tied up seven it was seven looking like literally nothing to rebuy. That should be the buy. What do they come out with? Obviously, no well, they know the owls in place. Someone gets heavy Kesnate. armor. They, they will they save eco for this. To play with how much space I mean, I guess I was a sheriff, right? So someone takes a hit somewhere in the util. Never counted out. Outlaw stands. MW Zara starts pocketing a lot of credits here for the following rounds. Yeah. And we switched over. A lot of this cipher util is going to be all over A. Cam's been there normally. Just this drone push. Facilitating MW Zara for another outlaw hit. Hmm. Not the same result from A-Main. No, oh, Kesna was waiting. Just the time of the Aljo to get towards elbow. Yeah, it's a little bit obvious, right? Ali. Get the tight angle Ali drone. Or you know an outlaw's in place. The spot MW0 and Relatively now. obvious what's going down. But at the same time, the spike stays towards the spawn. Nobody yeah. really reacting out of this because they're trying to see, since you do have Furia on a disadvantage, on also a bonus, that they might try yeah. to engage more aggressively. 
F goes main, hits one, three pass and stack. They look like they're going into. Three pass and stack, kill trip, camera, and wall. Just wore off. That was this, yeah, KO knife thrown over towards A. We just heard it wear off on the heat, so they have a little bit of time here to get through. <laughs> oh boy, they're going in. Just being made on the rope. Knife goes in, hits two. Do they cancel? Games as they go through mid. It's not playing with Khalil at all. And that dart actually just ping holds them inside the site. Beautiful flash from Havoc. It's traded out. Spike down A. And Nasworth pinging a few players oh. in the front of the site. Doesn't put into account Melzer. That almost punished him. But there is that push for him. Honestly, considering, the, considering the numbers and the crossfires, I thought that was going to go a lot worse. Or at least you're able to um, win your gun round for a crew. should still be all right. In fact, do they get two kills, which means that it's a what swing round. interesting round there towards the end. Obviously just hitting the site, but... Shy playing on the rope, bringing back the lurk from all across the map. And you kind of saw the, when crew plays like that, when a team plays like that, you're expecting big pushes. You're expecting someone to push up on that bonus, get a frag. You don't want the spike to drop. Hold so window of effect drone. You just suss mm. out the entirety of the map right up the gut through mid. Actually, haven't seen it a lot uh, in this map for the series. But crew feels like it's one that they can employ. All right. All towards A. This lurk still from Shy. It all goes in. And W0 gets here with the operator Waiting, looming over the site from Bridge. Five people in this square. Miles for them to get inside the site for crew visa. Kevin moving forward. Trying to spray with the Phantom. Connects onto Nosware. Meanwhile, Heat has fallen down. Door gets open. Flooding in or the defenders outside from the bridge. And Kesed was alone, but at least got the info shot. And crew need a hero. And honestly, this might be the pause. As Khalil jumps up, he denies access to Fudia to move. And the HPs are too low. There's only two players left. It's MW Zero. Heavily wounded with this operator. Coden dropped by the hands of Nicely done. That will be Klaus and Shy. Be great on that one. He had to try to keep the up alive for the next round. Yeah, crew visa now are able to score and another think. round on the attack. This is getting a little oh, yeah. chaotic. I mean, with the, how four, far right? they pushed up and died back here in sight, it did throw them off. But it made me think crews pushing too far. They're dying a little too early. And then for some reason, Furia felt like they needed to do it more. Jumping out, trying to get control over it without utiling into the site. And I feel like crew identifies out of this. So like, okay, if they're going to have MW Zera on an off in the back of the site, we can dislodge him a little bit. We swarm the site and they almost don't have a chance to get back at us because MW Zera's power has been coming live from the beginning of the round, stopping them from getting in the site. Once they closed that space, it was so hard for him to do his job. Yeah. And that's the uh, beauty that Kesdin had to be that disruptor to push and just dance around yeah. this whole time to really not allow for Furia to set up to uh, that play that I they mean, were trying to do there. So. Wait, whose timeout is this? So it becomes identify the op game Yep. before crew moves. Going to be a timeout here from Furia. Okay. As we see Adam chatting on the screen a little bit. But yeah. Fury yeah, it's nice. It's a nice early timeout though, just to make sure that it you see the game at least can try and have some impact. Um, last one. Each but... time we get one of these with coach's input, but is it gonna be enough now? Crew on those low buys, getting help from each other. Heat'll be able to buy once we get back in, easy peasy. And the spikes down just for the start of this one as they chatted out. Ultimates, not too many. Just Khalil at this point. And it looks like crew has kind of figured out how to hit these sites to give Furia the most trouble. That last Hello, one, the Austin. Gun round here, I see and that's gonna that loss is gonna force Furia down. Okay, onto saved the up. We'll see where it goes. They protect Kesnet. Looks like, or uh, sorry, MW Zera, and they'll try to get a peek mid first. Maybe this is what they need, right? Every round, MW is able to do this. Furia's info was so much better. And their control of the map is so much better. If, if MW Zera gets pushed off, it becomes so tough. Here we go. Yeah. Seems like a knife towards shop and a recon dart towards the sands. And yeah, that'll get a bit of information while you try to opt towards mid. And that knife is all to break that poison orb potential mm -hmm. so that Kesnik could get that line down. Sorry, MW Zera could get that line down. They won't take no risks on this. <laughs> Thrown really <laughs> far back, you. just trying to find out all where right. the op is. Towards A. And Ooh, did oh, they just wild. see it? Ooh, oh, man. I saw each other. <laughs> Not shy about that shot. At Instantly all. taking him down and again. They hit the cross. That's next Furia level confidence. And again, that's 
the best weapon, the best chance that they had here for Furia to try to get some sort of breathing room to rotate and retake the A site. That would have given an extra weapon in the hands yep. of one of the defenders of Furia. Now Shia watches the flank. Yeah, it's a long range battle. Doesn't get damaged that much. While well, Nosworth decides to fall back instead. And you see here, Kesnet walking You're gonna up drop down, me, try to save the op. Here, the defenders of saving the operator. And as the orb comes down, and there oh, goes the orb from the back. Now towards the top, Shy makes some noise. He gets Dink, falls back, and his teammates there. And now. no one picks up That's the orb in this one. And kill. even though there's some armor rebuys, it's uh pretty clean. Wow. It's got to be now. You're in. These rounds, you think for for crew or for Furia, you build it up, you got that operator, and it's the first thing to drop. Absolutely taking any win out of the sales Furia had that round. They push around, get pulled around the map. MW is there, still going to be able to have the operator. Blade Storm, Hunter's Fury up for post plant. Crew hasn't even needed to really get to the post plant in these last few rounds. They're taking all the bodies with them to take the W on it. And just these peaks up towards the ha uh, halls area before they fake an A. Spike is at A, so mid to A looks like it will be what they want to hit. This is a little bit more forward of a position though for Furia. Oh, and that nice. knife only spots one. Nice knife from back here. So you're finding a little bit more. What's the server though? And with that, they take out, position. Drone goes out He's early, the but they're at least going to find out where the op is. is the one walking forward with the op. Oh, rifle. Drone then comes back, but breaks that's a the op. They still walking don't know. Two, and it might get pulled back down as soon as they get the line. Meanwhile, though, you mentioned that push coming. They're drowned. They're going to hold on to a main heavy, massive jewel. Oh man, he turned it, I think, as well. Such a huge kill from Melza. Really big round from Melza. Mani, pretty much in the bin. I mean, they have a good loss bonus, but three of them are slightly wrecked. They've got nice. I think it was full blind. I think he turned it. I think it was like partially blind. Ooh, honestly, it's like a midway point. Watching the extremities, he was blind for the kill, at least. Just not allowing any Impressive. of these 1v1s to go to the side of Furia. Crew's firepower is coming into play again, as we saw on map one, where it's just outright fights that they're winning. To start off the round, you just tear apart the defense of Furia. Losing the Viper in the beginning there, you have no wall to defend. It just becomes so much tougher. Hitting all the right pain points of Furia right now. Will that a full blind? I mean, yeah, for the kill. Oh, I'll give you that. Either side of the wall here in mid. And they're just changing up how they do the lurks, right? This was actually Kesnit in mid last time. Now Kesnit's going to hit B, but they still hold that mid area, kind of transferring into each other's positions if they do decide to lean. And he's trying to play behind the defensive Viper wall, too, to try to yeah. catch some players off guard. Yeah, while well, this show's going down towards next. middle. He does get they one, take a lot of space on the tube right and the does, trade. I was going to say, is the timing really bad for the Sova here because Sova needs to help out this the the side Viper over towards A site. The forward position of Shy all the way up towards A holes. Drone goes in, wall goes in. When does the Scythe oh, activate? At least up to bricks. Doesn't spot anything as recon see clears all the pressure. Recon dart being thrown by Nas or out towards the A site. They'll choose otherwise now for crew. Pivoting back towards B. It, watching behind him already. Nasr has to be afraid of the back. They have to be afraid of door. They expect oh, this. They should the at least. Khalil hoping to find a shot with nobody looking at him. Oh, they weren't looking. But Let's at least see. he gets the third one. Landing was solid on this. Gets the ult as well. So they work out that the Cyphers <laughs> here. It's all gone this wrong. This so kingpin is going to be big from Shai. Yeah, it's so not big. More after that kill. The two on two on sight. One v one here. Shai's positions. Actually in danger. Cage comes up. Conan falls. Meanwhile, just by the elbow. <laughs> Damn, the cage, cage is out, everything. The he was so sure that he wasn't W King forwards. Ready. Khalil now becomes the last player standing. And also, All right, crew. Now falls five chances to finish this one. Crew are now at map and series point. Match and they had again. such a rough start into this, <laughs> but now looking great. That lurk was so perfect. The frag comes through. Cypher hat goes down. Like you said, jig is up. Can't do much about it. Yet still wins. Yet still wins the fight against Oswer. Yeah. 
right there. Boom. <laughs> They're almost getting the plays. Are someone going to end up 13 level? Right. Nah. Yeah, <laughs> damn, they're pumped. You gotta think about the buy rounds. Double low. Double uh, pistol, right? A nice stop, though. Maybe. Maybe. And now, A main control for Furia. This might force the hand of crew, but they have not been stopped by that before. Not too sure what weapon MW Zero had there before he got picked off, but when you're jumping up like that, maybe trying to find a timing with an off if you had that money. But nonetheless, it was red here by the attack side. Klaus is ready for it, calls it for the team, and they get the player advantage. Grouping up all together, needing Klaus in the to right side. The recon dart. So they ex execute as a full team inside B. No Under Fury out now on the attack. Be trade. As it does get the pick. Klaus trying to find some information Ooh, with, nice. and chances out the out thinking somebody's pushing out towards the elbow. Khalil gets the wall bang though onto Kesdit. No command being pushed up by Havoc. They do have war weapons. Only two guardians and a bulldog in their hands. Spike now Bro, the wall down failed so far. Three. He was aiming Crew too low. Didn't see it side. earlier. Khalil gives some hope for Fudia. As it's up to Klaus and Heat. Under attack, pushing through. Heat comes around the corner. Now left the corner. Ah, man, Heat was really good, dude. He was fragging out. He got two heavy fraggers now. Scary. Two to one. They take the series. He was incredible the whole series, yeah. Lotus and Breeze really was. their victories. A little bit of chaos on that last round. <laughs> And As honestly, Cody this was dominant. You, got, you gotta remember, they won this with no pistol. And shot it into the ground, so it never made it to sight. That's why Fury was coming back so hard into sight. <laughs> oh my! Sorry, that was Melzer's wall. Sorry, it's, it's switch on the scoreboard here as I'm looking at it. Oh my gosh, that could have cost them the round. Another one in for Fury, but no, crew holds strong. The chaos didn't matter. They were thriving in it the whole time. And it looks good yeah. from Heat and Kesnin. Heat on top, 22 frags for this one. Top of the list, a lot of the series as well with Kesnin. And it looks like we have a new set of Bash Brothers. <laughs> and definitely no match after this, no, only one match on today. Myself, which honestly is very nice, because I'm going to go get some sleep. Um, for people that are around for or Pacific, I'll be up in about eight hours or so, live in eight hours for Pacific. That's the only games we have tomorrow. Um, and pretty sure I'm on Plat Chat as well. So if you want to tune in for that, tune in for that also. Holy moly. This is still also still against the Furio, so there's still much more to get tested. Is it clean? Maybe not as clean. Uh, chat, who should we rate? Right, that second map, they kind of overcooked on that call. Right. And, and maybe didn't get those right rotates through, but overall, when you play default, a little bit more honest Valor, as you just mentioned on Breeze, or that first map on Lotus, yeah. they definitely did look good. Yeah, He's a receipt for Blad Chat. Well Funny, let me say this. Going to him. Nasra looked clean across the server. The team was getting the strats down, but again, crew's firepower today was Hazed. Is someone going to stick around for the interview, though? I kind of want to kind of want to raid someone that sticks around for the interview. Sideshow will stick around for the interview, right? Absolutely. Furia, the way they were playing, I think, became stale because it, it depended on the lurk a lot. It depended on either being fast or that lurk, and crew picked it apart. But MW Zera is still making the plays. Khalil, the timing on the lurks were kind of getting snuffed out, but that is easy. First sticks around for it. Okay, let's see that one. And the next That's all I need to hear. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Um, chat, let's... Uh... <laughs> Dude, what is this? The aliens are taking over. Um, do we... Chat, chat, are we doing like a... Are we doing a gloating spam of wingman can't plant or are we being humble? Because it's kind of hot at the moment after that round. You want to gloat? <laughs> you all say gloat, but Desp says no humbleness. You mean no humbleness or no, like, cause humbleness? Now, I gotta ask you, how does it feel winning in your debut on crew? 
Como é que você se sente ganhando? Okay, I'll let you all decide. You guys can do whatever you want. Estou muito feliz. Okay, chat, I'm gonna raid now. Peace, peace, peace. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, okay, respect. <laughs> respect. All right, you go mad, Des. Peace. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Só tenho a agradecer a equipe e a todo mundo que me apoia para o que, que fez isso acontecer. E vamos aí, tamo junto. A YouTube, well, thank you so much, guys. Peace.